ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> welcome to yet another exciting edition of your show. That's right. It's the Kickout Crew. Uh, um, my name is James. <laughs> cough, cough. I think we're all a little under the weather uh, tonight. <laughs> but I want to thank everyone for the positive feedback from last week's episode. Uh, I want to thank everyone for the questions. And obviously, you can submit those on uh, social media. Just look for us. It's Kickout Crew. And uh, if you like what we're doing, be a friend and tell a friend about your show. And hey, let's all join in on the fun. Uh, that being said, you know, I think it's time to get the fun going. And uh, before we get the fun going, uh, Bryant, do you have something? Uh, one of our co-hosts uh, absolutely foamed out of his mouth last week. So uh, we are going to address that at the top of the show. I believe uh, Brad had some choice words about a certain tag team yes yes you are correct uh brad decided to go off on a very particular tag team and uh for those of you who um might not remember uh what brad actually said um let's uh let's go back and show everybody uh the clip here of what brad said about somebody some people's favorite tag team Oops, hit the wrong button here hold on i don't know what i'm doing apparently Looks like I'm telling a secret. Oh, get the fuck out of here. I'm so sick of FDR. <laughs> what is the freaking big ass deal about FDR? I'm a hot take. <laughs> Jeez, oh, man. They're serious. okay. They're great. Good. Holy shit. Move on. I'd, but, well, honestly, I'd rather see him be in a single match. What is it match. about FTR that if everybody wants to blow them all the time? I don't get it. Because they're good. They're good. They're good. There's a lot of good tag teams. I don't know. I just don't get it. I don't get it. Now, Brad decided to go on with this hot take, and naturally, um, a lot of people reacted, including a friend of the show, uh, Amy Vaughn, uh, who decided that uh, she wanted to make sure she knew that Brad knew her feelings, so she <laughs> sent in this video. Uh, ambush. Uh, I just wanted to reach out to you all, because, you know, Brad's been saying some crazy shit on Twitter, like uh, more than normal crazy, you know, we all know about bitch and Brad, you know, whatever, old man yelling at the clouds, but like, he's kind of like really said some crazy shit. Um, and like, I even reached out to Deb because I was like, hey, Deb, like, has Brad had like a recent head injury? Like, I just, because I'm like, I don't even know where this is coming from, right? Um, any health things that are going on that like maybe could be causing him to like lose his mind? And um, she was like, well, no, you know, he's got that ED thing, but that's long term. And I was like, I don't <laughs> think that would really cause, like, mental. And, you know, he has hemorrhoids. I don't know. I don't think any of that. I don't know. I don't know exactly how the blood might work. But anyway, I don't really think it's that. And uh, she was like, why? And I said, because he was saying some crazy shit. And she goes, what's new? And I said, no, no, Deb. Like, this is, like, crazy. Like, he says he doesn't understand, like, why people like FDR. <laughs> and she was like, oh my God, that is like some really crazy shit. I said, I know, girl, it is. So there's no head injuries. Um, because, so that was really the only thing that I could think of. And so I want to kind of reach out to you all and just see, like, do you all think, like, does he need to be put, like, have you noticed anything? Like, are we thinking he had a stroke or something like that? Because surely to God, there has to be some kind of mental uh, incapacitation, right? Because who in their right mind doesn't understand why people like, like the, one of the greatest tag teams that will ever live. And that's had match after match after match with like match of the year, match of the year, great competition, like stellar performances. Like I, I can't even imagine what he is thinking. Um, so I just kind of want to reach out with you all first and just make sure that if you've noticed any anything else like that, that's kind of weird. Um, the other thing I think is like, if any, if this kind of continues on, then um, I truly think that he has been like taken over by an alien or something and like Brad is gone and like they've taken the inside of his body. So we need to skin him and just get rid of the alien or whatever, because this can't possibly be a wrestling fan right i mean this can't be someone who claims to like wrestling 
if you're not into what FTR is putting out. And so I just want to reach out to you all. Just let me know what y'all are thinking, what else you see. And, um, you know, if we need to do an intervention, I'm all for it. You just let me know. Okay. Love y'all. Talk to y'all later. Bye. So that was for you, Brad. <laughs> yeah, so, um, no question why our show was three hours long that day, by the way. So go ahead. <laughs> yeah, because you bitched about FTR. <laughs> so uh, Amy wanted to make sure she that you knew that. Um, but she also, uh, Amy, you can unmute yourself if you'd like. Because um, Amy is also here. To uh, make sure that Brad, if you have anything you'd like to say, uh, you can uh, say what you like to about FTR to Amy, uh, who I'm also dubbing the first lady of the FTR fan club as well. So, Brad, so, you do you doing okay? Everything okay? <laughs> ambush, huh? No, well, this is not an ambush. Do, don't you have a show to do tonight, Amy? I do, but I made arrangements because <laughs> I am seriously concerned. I mean, I talked to Deb. We're both now concerned. Yeah. We've really said some wild stuff. And, but this is really the wildest, I think. Like, it really, um, really takes the cake. What other tag teams? What What other? I know you said that they're a good tag team. Oh, so, okay. Let's please don't say, it. please don't say Young Bucks. I, I will have like to come Bucks. through over FTR. Let me ask you a question. Did you like oh, FTR before they came to AEW? Did you like them in WWE? Um, let's see here. You mean uh, Dash? Listen, whatever you bought right <laughs> after after you already after at, Dash after you already rooted Scott. for FTR. So let me ask you this: When did you buy that? When did you? Well, hell, how you did you did not I buy that veneer in WWE? Correct? Would you get that on sale at Walmart? No, I bought this. I bought this whenever they were um, in WWE. You did. Yes. Why would I not? I, I think what you did is you the bought revival. out of the bargain barn after they already were FTR and, and AEW. Okay. You know, this is kind of like Shutter Island. Sure, Brad. Sounds good. Whatever. <laughs> that fabulous. You're right. Let's do it your way, right? E D. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Deb said that. I did. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure. I, I didn't say that. Deb did. You know, blood issue. I mean, like I said, we were really, you know, like she said, you always say crazy shit. She, but she was like, as when I told her what it was, she was like, oh, yeah, that's pretty damn crazy. Like, yeah. But when I was listening to your hot takes, whatever the first question was about the Beatles, mm -hmm. you were asked if you had had a recent head injury by Adel. And so I think... You might want to like run by your hot takes with other people and just, and again, um, turn it. I meant to look this up. There's like acronyms for a stroke. You got to see. Can you smile? Okay. You're looking for like the lopsided face, right? Can oh, you say the alpha? Yeah. That's the zoom. Huh? <laughs> That's the zoom. No, I'm talking about if you had a stroke. I got I'm just, you it. know, I got there's got to be a blood clot somewhere. That's all I got to know because. <laughs> seriously ftr they're phenomenal like there are some other great tag teams but ftr is phenomenal i mean they're in the top 100 <laughs> they're up there with the b team and some other great tag teams of our time now you're just fucking with me <laughs> <laughs> i was seriously concerned i thought you had injured yourself and brad that we knew and loved was no longer around and this I thought maybe the lizard people that, like Jim Cornette always says, is living in the walls. I thought they had gotten you. I really, really did. So, funny story. I was busy last night at work, and I didn't even know this video. I don't care about your story. No, no, no. <laughs> you, you texted me, and I oh, didn't yeah. know what you were texting me about. And I'm like, what the hell happened here? Oh, about <laughs> why are you so blonde? How could you be so blonde? Yeah. That was funny. Oh, and you didn't even know. I didn't even know at that point. I had to go do some research of why you were sending me this text. I got that's, it. Because you're just like, well, that that's that's because does everybody just send you stuff like that? Like, why are you such an idiot? And you're like, well, I, knew, oh, I, I guess I'll have to else. find out what I did that make me such an idiot, right? All right. Well, there's, this is right not now. this is not a feud. I just want everybody to know that this is not no, a no, 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 no feud, no feud, no feud, no feud at all. I, again, more her I, general I, concern, right? More general concern. 
Yes, because I, I don't think you can be um, a wrestling fan and not appreciate FTR as one of the best. All right, so let's put that aside for a minute. Where this all stemmed from was this was going to be Sting's last match, right? Right, and your head injury, right? I mean, with Sting's, it stems so from that too. do you think Sting's last match should be against FTR? No. no. I'd I rather like, This is where this all started, Mike. <laughs> It should not. No, I mean, I, I don't really, I don't really, honest to God, I don't really know who Sting's last match should be against. I mean, I've heard a lot of great ideas, but I don't think FTR, uh, it, no, there's and nothing it's gonna, there. It looks like it's going to be the Young Bucks, and this is where this all came from. Right. And they're acting like, you know, assholes. So yeah, yeah let's, let's, let's see mode. them get right. Let's, are we, Nicholas and, Matthew or whatever yeah, they're doing. by their Christian names, right? By their Christian <laughs> names, which Amy. I know I thought that was great. Uh, so Amy, no, Amy, you know, are yes. you saying not FTR because they're probably going to get beat with it being <laughs> Sting's last match? You know, Sting's going to go over. Yeah, I don't think people want to see FTR get beat like that. You know what I mean? Like, I don't really exactly. think that there's so, an interest. You know, but if it wasn't for that, I mean, do you not think Sting and Darby could do a good match with FTR? Oh, no, I think they could. But again, I don't really think that people want to see because they they want to see Sting do the splash. and They want to see him do all their moves. But wouldn't you rather have that on someone that you're not super excited about? Like, or, you yes. know, is you annoying. To hear. Like, you know, FTR is not annoying. So I don't really want to see Cash get, you know, Scorpion Splash, but I would love to see Nicholas get Scorpion Splash in the corner and pinned, you know? So I just don't think that's a, that's just the row for FTR in this in this particular, with Sting, you know? I think, like I said, I think the Young Bucks being, especially how they're being all snooty or whatever they're doing right now, um, I think could make for a really good, um, really fun when Sting does pin them. And they, you know, they have to go on in the back or whatever, and Sting and Darby can uh, celebrate. I think that'll be good. And then that gives Darby something to be, you know, they can even do one-on-ones if they wanted to with, you know, Darby taking on one of the Jacksons and just be like, you know, I beat you or whatever. I don't I don't know exactly what they're going to be doing with the Nicholas and Matthew characters and how much they may end up wrestling in the future So versus but- EVPs. But full disclosure, yes, I am not as big of a fan as FTR as everybody else in this group is, or as our whole wrestling community is. I don't dislike them. I don't think they're, uh, I think they're good. I just, I don't get the appeal of why everybody thinks they're the greatest tag team of all time. And I know I over, I reacted. I I did some yelling. I don't dislike them. Like I said, I just, I I guess I just don't get it why they're the best ever. Who do you think is the best ever? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. But I just hate that they're always in the conversation. Well, but no, I just mean. Like, well, why that's... were they tag team of the year? Why were they tag team of the year? And they were in the tag team phenomenal. of the year every Were they? They're phenomenal. But did they, but did they win anything to be tag team of the year? They had championships. What, in 2022? They had three championship belts. Yeah, Almost was, at they the were, same they time. Were the a, they were the AEW tag team champions this year. When? Uh, the beginning March? of the year. Um, and then, cause they, I guess. Because they just dropped him to Big Bill and Ricky Starks. Okay. Yeah. I, I guess that, that ruins that for me. But, yeah, I don't Because well, um, you defecated out of the mouth. Yeah, like, you, you went on air and straight up pooped. I just don't mouth. think like, they're... Uh, out of I, I, That's the reason why I was asking. I like the what? Lucha Bros better. Okay. Flip floppity fly. <laughs> I do like that. I do like that. Better than... Do you like ground the power? Pound? Glory yeah, move more than ground and pound. Yes, more than ground huh? and pound. I liked it more than ground and pound. Yes. Okay. That's not a good. But... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good. But the FTR deserves to be in that conversation. Sorry that you don't feel that way. I don't mind the Lucha Brothers. I like them too. But it's just Amy. Every time, it, it's just always they're always they always come up. And it's just I, I just had enough. That's because enough. they are the best. That is the reason why. That that's what happens when people are really, really good, and there's a conversation about really, really good wrestlers. That's the reason why they always come up. Ding, 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 ding. I mean, right. I, 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 
Ring is your this head. part of the brain injury that this has to be explained? I have That's definitely, okay. I have definitely do it. got hit in the head. I have definitely got hit in the head. Yes, I will do it because if it's a head injury, I, I don't mind explaining it to you over and over, whatever we got to do. Because, you know, you're my friend and I was concerned. <laughs> Thanks, Amy. <laughs> no problem. I'm glad. Now, I might say a little bit more over on my show. Upon water oh, days. You know that. I need to it's, it's yeah, shut not wait to hear it's that. <laughs> I will definitely no, do that. She knows that. Where can everybody find you, Amy? I was about to say, oh, where can we find yes, that show, Amy? Yes. So I am the first lady of the Arn Anderson fan club. And you can find me over at Talking Wrestling with Pondwater Dave. We uh, came live weekly. This week, it's kind of, uh, we're taking a little step back. But there's been so much wrestling news that, uh, and another FTR fan, uh, Big Red, Andrew Hermes, will be on with us, Pond Water. And we're just going to kind of go over some stories of the, the wrestling community in the last few weeks. And, uh, of course, Royal Rumble's upon us. I mean, it's my absolute favorite. And uh, we just got a lot of excitement. So we thought we'd just take a day and just kind of go over some of that news. Uh, let me think. I think I'm at Amy RD underscore 24 on Twitter. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I just, I love wrestling and dogs, my friends, checking on my friend Brad with the head right. injury. You know, what's really nice because you're bald, we could, I think it does look a little, there's a dent. There's a lot, something oh, there's wrong. There's a few dents. There's a divot. There's a divot. I have a third so, eye. Side, yeah. I really think that that is a being bald. That's going to be very helpful to us to kind of monitor some of these spots. So, <laughs> uh, you know, try not to. I don't know. Don't piss Deb off. I don't know who hit you or what happened. <laughs> uh, you know, don't walk under ladders. All that good stuff. Just take care of yourself, Brad. And <laughs> let's. Um, I don't know if it needs to be James Bryant. That, that somebody review your rants. To make sure that, you know, you're not saying something that's like, oh, I don't know, Brad, I don't, do you really think that? Or does it, is the head injury, the synapses are not just, you know, hitting the mark where they need to. So that's Well, I am all. due for a checkup. I am due for a checkup. There's no doubt about it. Well, I think you might be need to go get that because, like I said, we can't protect you from Twitter. So I'm just saying, we're, that's why we kind of want to do this little intervention now. Some of your ranch, you know, yeah, okay man in the clouds but like you know this one you it could have really got ugly so you know, we just want to bring you, help you you know bring that all in do our best so thanks guys let me know if Thank there's you. any other thing i can help with and uh y'all have a great rest of the show thanks amy thanks for coming on thanks, thanks amy. Thank you, amy. The water dave show with Thank amy you. water dave love you amy and justin Bye. davis i love you guys y'all have a good show see you amy Bye. See ya. We've already peaked. <laughs> so much for a show. How long was You're she welcome, on there? Brad. How long was she on there? Knew that. I knew you were going to go with something like that. You guys are the best. <laughs> and who's next? Hey, it's because we care, Brad. You know, <laughs> it's because we care. <laughs> you know what else I care about? And in ring for four. Oh, wait a second. So, uh, our, our brother Adam is, uh, you know, occupied right now. So, uh, we want to reach out and say, Hey, so, Hey, <laughs> shout out to Adam. Uh, so are we just getting into it or do you I just want to hear? give a couple of highlights of the week? If that's okay. I uh, thought the, I thought the hook and uh, Samoa Joe match was uh, way better than expected. Good to see Cowboy come out to the rescue there. Damn yeah, right. I'm not going through the whole show. Okay. And Swerve. Swerve out there. Setting well, hey, what, so Swerve with his black eyes. Did that yeah, not, not trip? Sure that I hated that. I thought it looked dumb as fuck. Was he tired? <laughs> did he not get enough sleep? I don't know. Sorry for the group here that Damian Priest did not cash in the Money in the Bank contract on Monday. Oh, that right all so sure. <laughs> but that was a good match, though. Excellent match, as right, always. Good match. Uh, gender, Don't hinder. Gender. Don't hinder. Gender put it in there. I mean, he put on a good match in there. So Hey, Tony Khan got him over, so shout out to a promoter of a different company getting you over. Yeah. Dolph Ziggler making his uh, appearance at Hard to Kill, <laughs> along with Alexander Hammerstone. 
uh, MLW yeah, zone. Wait, wait, time out, time out, time out. We got to go back. Time out. I'm not timing out. You don't. Just, just real quick. All right. Because with that hook match, they had huh. that damn uh, segment with hook, like beforehand. And he's like, who in the fuck am I? <laughs> I'm a hook. Like, I mean, he, he shouted that shit out, you know, when Jinder Mahal said, who in the fuck's hook? Yeah. <laughs> So again, Alexander Hammerstone showed up at MLW, um, or you know, at uh, TNA. I apologize, MLW Sam was Alexander Hammerstone, and then like I said, Dolph Ziggler showing up. Back to uh, Dynamite. Loved uh, Tony Storm is so good. <laughs> she is so good. Yeah. Uh, I, I, she, I can't believe that character works for me now, but it does. And her with Diana Perazzo out there. By the way, my my wife is freaking furious right now about the way everybody talked about Diana Perazzo online. Furious. So she she didn't know her. Looked her up. She's like, "What the fuck is everybody talking about?" No, she's <laughs> is she perfect? Is she a freaking like a supermodel? No, she she is. He she's like, "This is crazy." She expected something way way bad. The way everybody <laughs> was talking. Um, uh, like I said, raw good good match at the end there for um Jinder Mahal and Seth Rollins. And if you guys watched any of the NXT, they had a battle royal at the end. Who's gonna be the number one contender? And Roxanne Perez won, and it was a uh, battle royal, and it ended up being a fatal four way match with the final four in there which is a cool way to do it. You know, you have the Battle Royal, and then you have really the like Fatal 4-Way. And then... Yeah, uh, I like that movie a lot. Kiana James, Roxanne Perez, Kal- Kalani uh, Jordan, and um, Fallon, Hen- Fallon Henley. They were the f- final four in there, which uh, was a great four. So uh, that's all I'm going to do. I just wanted to just touch on a few things there. Joe that Hendy? What's that? Uh, Joe Hendy? Is that the dude's name? Joe Hendry. Uh. <laughs> I believe in Joe Hendry. <laughs> I said Fallon Hen- Henley. <laughs> Isn't that right? So uh, anyway, they were the final four of that uh, battle royal, and Roxanne Perez uh, came out on top. I think she's uh, up for a heel turn here because um, and she's going to be uh, facing the champion now. That is it. That's this week in wrestling. We can get into it, James. You're on mute, pal. Well, that is this week in wrestling. <laughs> so, I am not an in-ring performer. <laughs> so is it time, I guess, to get into this? Let's do it. So what is today's agenda? Today's agenda is the 1994 Royal Rumble. Why are we covering a Royal Rumble? Because it's Royal Rumble season. That's today's agenda. <laughs> And uh, 1994 yeah. Royal Rumble is the one that won on Twitter. Thank you for everybody that participated. We had a lot of votes, and it was close. Yeah, we had like what five thousand votes and all. It was something like that, but there was collusion, and I oh, blame yeah. uh, our uh, producer for that. Uh, yes, as you should, because I did a lot of colluding with people to make sure this won. <laughs> Absolutely, because first Adam was colluding with five thousand people. Congrats, At least good job, Bryant. Well, it's basically everybody in Nebraska. <laughs> Pretty close. What <laughs> state? <laughs> I don't know how yes, it, it. 1994 Royal Rumble watch along. Uh, so you know, get your cock out, as some would say. Um, you the peacock that is, yeah, not that type of show. And uh, go to where are we at? One thirty six oh eight. Is that what we're doing? This? Yeah. Yes. Uh, is... What? Yeah. Yeah. That uh-huh. is one <laughs> one hour. 36 minutes and eight seconds, which is, uh, you know, riding a bull is eight seconds. Shout out to that. Lane Frost, huh? Good stuff. Always good to get a Lane Frost reference in. So, uh, should we, uh, should I get into the intro or should we just hit play now? You get in the intro. Let's do it. (laughs) It's my favorite part of the show. If I can find my notes, hold on. All right. (laughs) (laughs) And there it is. It is Royal Rumble 1994. Can't wait to talk about this. Uh, It was January 22nd, 1994, from the Providence Civic Center in Providence, Rhode Island. Actually, one of our uh, very good friends, friend of the show, Anthony Pyrus, was at this show, and he hails from Providence. And some would say he was my first choice to be on the show. And I got stuck (laughs) with you assholes. So uh, anyway, uh, it had an attendance of 14,500. 
It had a buy rate of, I forgot to look it up. And uh, it had a match length of 55 minutes, 8 seconds. And Meltzer gave this two and a half stars. How do we get there? How did we get to the Royal Rumble? That happens every year. (laughs) By the way, I just got a notification that they just started recording Pondwater Dave show. Boy, she was really cutting it close. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, we had a a real real time. I want to on you. Yeah, can't wait to hear it. (laughs) I can't wait to hear what she says about you on her show. That's going to be... That's going to be the goal. He's going to take right her there. show to new heights. Oh. Yeah, I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Flying low this week, that's for sure. Oh, no doubt. <laughs> Rats with wings. <laughs> Someone say the eagle has landed. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. But <laughs> we have uh, filibustered enough. Uh, go Bills, a, go Detroit. All right. Do we have a countdown? All right, let's go, Devin. <laughs> All have- right, so ready? Three, two, one, play. Boom. Where do we, what do we got here? Finkel. Shout out to Finkel. Shout out to Finkel. He's perfect for this position. The following contest. Oh, man. Does anything get better than him announcing stuff? No. Eh. You know, we always hear so much about how he was picked on. What a bunch of assholes. Right. But he was the one that kept them uh, abreast to all the other uh, wrestling situations going on, too. Yep. Because even Bruce like, oh, yeah, you know, Finkel would keep us, you know, in touch with what's happening here and here and here, you know? Sounded like they uh, relied on him for everything and respected him for nothing. <laughs> right. Yeah, and but... I know, I know that world. <laughs> 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 So but at this his, point, he has um, pays. What's that, Mike? He got his pays. Like, wasn't there one time where they they destroyed his car and Vince bought him a brand new car because they did it? Yeah, probably. I bet Vince was pissed too. <laughs> Vince is the one that destroyed the car. So we have our first contestant in the Royal Rumble, and it is none other than Scott Steiner. And this isn't the yeah. this isn't Big Papa Pump, is it? He is a big no, Papa this- though. That dude's yoked. Yeah, I don't know about this hair. This hair is uh, questionable, to say the least. Shout out, Allison. Sweet hair right here. Yeah, she would love this hair, because he did keep it nice. But do you like this hair better, or do you like the big pump pump, uh, blonde hair better? Well, he's a face here, so, you know. Oh, here we go. (laughs) I mean, let's face it. uh, The NWO, were they faces? Were they not? (laughs) Got decided. Hey, shout out to No Graphics. It was really hard to tell who the fuck was who because there were no graphics. And obviously, I knew every contestant because I was watching heavily back in this day. But yeah, every person that came out, no graphic. So this is Samu that's coming out now? One of the head shrinkers? By the hair? Forced out there? Slugging away? So let me ask you guys a question real quick. There are no stakes in this match, correct? It's just for bragging rights? No, uh, I think they, no, I think they started the, the, that. Yeah, the I, heavyweight thing. I think it started in 92, and it's been like that since. Okay. They don't mention it much. Yeah, they did. They had like 15 people say, I'm going to win the Royal Rumble so I can go to WrestleMania 10. And yeah, go you know what's good? Yeah, for Double, J, Double J was in there <laughs> on his little promo. Ha-ha! Brad, did you not watch the pay-per-view? I watched the Rumble and just the uh, – no. I watched <laughs> I watched this. That was it. And I bet you didn't even do this. I usually – you told me you were going to watch anything. I'm not. You said I was watching it on, so I'm watching it now. So did you guys pick up on how long they're uh, in between um, contestants coming out? Did you guys pick up on that? They said 90 yeah, seconds, I, but – I timed it. There was a couple of them that was like 92 and a half. Did you really time it, Meltzer? He didn't even I watch did. it. What do you mean yeah. he timed it? <laughs> From the time we went, eh, to the time we went, eh. I just don't understand why they make such a big deal about that. Uh, by the way, shout out Cassio, huh? Cassio is a good friend of the show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. So that's <laughs> who sponsored this back in 94. The Cassio timer. <laughs> They're still, uh, as, see, this is the kind of stuff that gets uh, Conrad going is when he sees <laughs> advertising from like 20 years ago and he, or 30 years ago. He's like, wow, they're still making money on that. How could I do that? 
That's that's Conrad, man. He's thinking that way. So we got number three coming out. Yep. Rick Steiner. Oh, yeah, oh, what a coincidence, oh, oh, huh? Oh, 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 oh. The dog face gremlin himself. What do you, guys, what do you think, uh, Devin? What do you think of their attire? I absolutely <laughs> love it. It's all flashy and colorful. It's all the colors of the 90s and the patterns. It is. Of the it 90s. really is. It's like a Hobie the 90s shirt. Is fuck. Splash you with a. Uh, <laughs> you think Braun can wear something like that this year? He has. He has worn that, hasn't he? He's worn some. He's worn some neon type stuff. Yeah. He I definitely like should have a baby I face. Him this year. Um, I'm going to say number 13. By the way, you know that him and um, Corbin are a tag team now. And yeah. they're actually kind of funny together because he says he wanted to name them. He wanted to name them Wolf Dogs. Braun Breaker. And, and Corbin's like, no, no, that's not OK. I'm the leader. It's not going to be Wolf Dogs. And this is like a back and forth on NXT. I was laughing because they're, they're like a comedy act, but they can kill you. <laughs> and they're both heels. They're, but that I felt like it just changed when they were making jokes, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah. Do you, Do you think that's why Corbin's with him to bring that like comedic side out of him before he he's doing something? He's roster? doing a good job. Corbin's better down there than he is up here or at the main roster. Up here, like I'm there. On my, on my <laughs> show, on my own show. All right, I'm so if if he don't show up at the Rumble, he's showing up at Monday Night Raw or SmackDown after WrestleMania. So we have Quang coming out now with Harvey Whippleman. Okay. Who? Quang is Savio Vega. For those of you at home that don't know who that is. Um, Harvey Whippleman also, the the oh. rock gives all a lot of credit for um mentoring him in the business. Uh, as he was downtown Bruno at the time and helped him out. He lived with him. Uh, it was actually mm-hmm. shown on Young Rock. Like that he really took care of him when uh when he needed him. I only knew him as Harvey Whippleman. But I've learned a little bit now because of uh, the Young Rock that has been canceled for some reason. Yeah, it was a decent. I can't believe show. that. Oh, you can't it's, watch it's, it. It's because <laughs> Do my aunts and uncles and stuff like would watch that? And they're not even wrestling fans, and they love it. It's entertaining, man. Yeah, I enjoyed it. That was great. Like, there's. Ways- I heard that. I heard Night a lot of legends going? say that that not all the stories lined up correctly and everything like that. But no, I, I didn't think not. Are they used to. It's from the <laughs> Rock's perspective, right? I mean, listen, it, it does it ever line up right? <laughs> like, is this the first I mean, they, they <laughs> the Iron Claw movie was nowhere near that, but it's still a great movie. Yeah, I mean, you got that who who's that one guy they had out there playing that Sean Michaels? Uh well, they named him something, right? Yeah, named him something stupid. They did they named him and didn't they didn't say it was him, but apparently that's who it was. That Shawn Michaels didn't treat the wrong. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so it was now like we got Frost or something. And yeah, there was an elimination. Awesome. I believe we missed an elimination. I think we did miss an elimination because we, we started. Talking. And we have Owen Hart come out now. Well, well actually, at Hart. the beginning of the show, Owen Hart and Bret Hart actually lost to the uh, the Rougeau brothers. Isn't that yeah. something? Yeah, so I, do you brothers. like that, Devin? Yeah. Do you like that being part of the, the show in two different spots? Uh, I enjoy it. Uh, I, I think too. that during this time, the roster wasn't as big as it is like right now, currently. So they definitely had to do more spots they like that, it. where Brett and Owen, who had a match earlier, and there was a bunch of people who came out and helped uh, Yoko Zuna against The Undertaker, who we're going to see a bunch to them throughout this match as well. So I remember which, a time when Dolph Ziggler came out after he lost the championship to be a part of this, to get another shot at the championship. I think that's, I think that's cool. Um, yeah, I, I agree. I, 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 I eliminated yeah. guys. You know, Look like I'm push him in the dick. There's a, there's, <laughs> you lose the title and then you come out here and win the rumble and you get your title match right there. Well, Amy or Amy, I'm freaking Amy on the mic. <laughs> Becky, <laughs> <laughs> Becky had lost um, something uh, a couple years ago and then won the rumble. Correct. She yeah, lost yeah. the she lost the Oscar, and then won the yeah. rumble. Freaking Amy! Freaking can't believe you guys <laughs> did that to me. That's like on the recent AEW pay per view how uh, Luchasaurus won the battle royal to get the contract. Immediately gave it to Christian to give him the rematch, mm-hmm. right then and there. So we got Bark Gun. Of the the oh, smoke guns. What? I thought that was EC three. <laughs> yeah, C3 was in diapers back then. 
but uh, not diapers, <laughs> but he was young. Yeah, I come. Bart Gunn, the future winner of the Brawl for All. Yes, yes. Just about yeah. the same. Devin, look at you. you... <laughs> whoop some ass until he got in the ring with somebody that can whoop some ass. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shout out Butterbean. I, I think losing in a show and then winning a show later is a great, a great angle. I think uh, once I, at WrestleMania, you had Rollins lose to uh, Randy Orton and then cash in for the money in the bank to win. Yep. In the championship the same day. I, I love And that was a guys. sweet RKO, too. <laughs> it was. Yeah, yeah, right he went for the curb RKO. stomp and then he you caught him. Up. Damn. Fucking amazing. The story he has is they practiced like a lot of times before then and never got it right. And right there on TV. Why do I happened. feel like this is absolute bullshit? Are you bullshit? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm for real on this. Right now. Look at your face. You look like you're up to something. <laughs> no, I'm for real. I like that's it. Like they practiced a couple times, didn't work out the way they wanted to, and that one time they did it, it just landed perfect. By and the way, it was a WrestleMania where Undertaker came out, and it was still daylight out, so it was kind of weird seeing his entrance oh, yeah. in the daytime. So we have Diesel coming out now. But before he gets to the ring, I wanted to <laughs> Mike Kyoto recently on an episode of uh, the Mailbag with Mike Kyoto said that he thinks Butterbean beat Bark Gun. Was a work. Oh, uh, I thought that was interesting. Mm. Butterbean beat the shit out of him because Butterbean would have nothing to gain by coming there and oh, fighting man. for real. He said, "No, he didn't." And losing because he was actually a professional boxer. Huh. Well, what if he did lose? What if he lost? So what? You fight someone else? Oh, yeah, <laughs> everything. I don't understand lose. what I don't understand what the point was of that. But the point is, if he lost, is you're losing this guy that fake wrestles. But guess what? You could still have another match and win it. Like it's real. <laughs> you know, it's not predetermined. I, I thought it was. Uh, I, I I am not with Kyoto on that because I never heard that anyway. I want to know about this mullet that Diesel has going on. Yeah, he looks good. <laughs> Ninety four. So if you're watching along with us, Diesel, who just Ooh. came in, starts eliminating people left and right. Yep. And this is the original idea where they got the name for the diesel spot in the rumble person who just comes down and cleans out eliminating owen pretty early too yeah it was yeah. and then he has cleaned house and he is alone in the ring now there are if you uh, are watching at home you're gonna notice he is in that ring by himself for way too long a couple times <laughs> <laughs> Because there is not much to do for a minute and a half. A minute and a half is a long time, and you're just standing there. And here comes Backlund. Never got the character. I never got it. <laughs> I mean, you guys are all too young anyway. And I'm actually a little too young for it. Uh, because when he lost to Diesel for the championship, that was a uh, different run than his original run when he was somebody. He lost it all then, apparently, because, I mean... I didn't get it. <laughs> he almost threw Diesel over, too. Right. <laughs> I guess he's strong. Um, he was <laughs> able to do those, um, whatever those things were that the Iron Sheik yeah. had. <laughs> yeah. I Apparently nobody can do that, you know, <laughs> except for, um, and uh, he, Backlund's Ooh. eliminated now, except for the Iron Sheik, Bob Backlund, and for some reason, AJ Francis. <laughs> <laughs> If you have uh, watched the uh, Living Treasure show on uh, A&E, <laughs> he was able to do it too. So that makes me wonder, can more people do it? The answer is yes. That <laughs> Shout is out AJ dollar. Francis. Top yeah, dollar. Formerly yes. known as Top Dollar, recently appeared on TNA. So, Did, Yeah, that's right. On the pay-per-view. Did you think he attacked the guy we were talking about earlier. Yeah, Joe, Joe Henry. Did you that, think that shit was, odd... was hilarious. Did you think it was an <laughs> odd choice for him to be the Living Treasure's host? that year like he was no one knew who he was you know? <laughs> yeah <laughs> but I think that I, was kind he, of the point yeah he, he did a good job a guy that he was very good with his words and he is very knowledgeable i i like him yeah i i thought it was an odd choice but i think it worked and now we have another one of the smoking guns boy he looks a little different doesn't he <laughs> right is, uh, how does he look way better now than he did then he is that is the ass man billy gun <laughs> <laughs> that is daddy ass <laughs> daddy ass it is now his sons are about as old as he was there and he did not last long he is out. <laughs> and he's already eliminated. That was it. Oh, 
All right, so I'm going to pull an Adam and have a call back to what we were talking about a few minutes ago about someone losing early <clears throat> in the show and winning later in the show. Because another, the first ever wrestling showcase held by our, the, by this network, the premier streaming network, was Matt Cardona got hurt and needed a sub. Then uh, Kurt Hawkins, uh, Br- Brian Myers, he ended up filling in for him. Lost. And then Matt Cardona came back in the main event to win the whole championship. There it is. Yep. Did everybody get what was going on backstage there? Lex Luger got beat up by a broom. So I guess he's not going to be in the Rumble, huh? <laughs> did, did you guys? Did you guys see Jerry Jarrett? <laughs> That's what they're Jerry, saying. Jerry Jarrett was there breaking up the uh, squabble there. The well, I'm glad you pointed that out, Brian, because no, I did not. Hey. Hey now, huh? Y'all need to quit fighting, okay? What number? What number are we at right now? Yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> you know, that's another thing that you see the tweet uh, yeah. along the way here. They don't tell you the number. Yeah, they no even, graphics. They don't nothing. even show you the name. Yeah, ain't nothing. Yeah, they ain't doing nothing like that. So who we got here, Virgil, the future leader of the NWO. <laughs> he is the alternate um, to Kamala. By the way, they mentioned that. So there's alternates. <laughs> um, did they opt out <laughs> did Kamala opt out I mean I think so. no, I'm good <laughs> so do they have named alternates or do you think that day of like you're in <laughs> right. so you're I asked in. that to Jim Ross on the latest episode of uh, Grill and JR because I wanted to know and I'm sure he's pissed about the question <laughs> hey cameraman come on now you're going <laughs> right <to> <laughs> And Virgil is out of the ring. By the way, I'll tell you what. I listened to DiBiase's show, Ted DiBiase, The Million Dollar Man. He really uh, he really cares for uh, Virgil. And, um, that you know, he says that he just wishes he had a little more athletic ability and they could have been more together, but I guess he didn't have it. <laughs> well, but he, apparently um, – Well, he didn't wrestle Jared, much. <laughs> uh, Jared and Road Dog say Omos is um, a very big higher-up guy, but we see he's an he's attraction at. that they want to push, right? He, they said he's something special. Yeah, I think I think those days are, are almost over for the Giants. But except I do like uh, Satnam Singh though. I think he's a very impressive guy. You say they're almost over. Oh, 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 oh. And here he is, the Macho Man Randy Savage. Yeah. Man, that was as good as an impression right, so we got I did for uh, Ric Flair on the uh, Iron Claw movie. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it funny how uh, he he's too old here, you know? Right. They were like they were pushing him out the door because he, he was, was an announcer old. at the time, right? Because he was an announcer um, on WrestleMania Nine. Yeah. Yeah. So that was wait that's before this. You think he was well, another yeah. alternate? <laughs> hey, Randy, we need you hey, tonight, bud. Hey, <laughs> you're going in. Randy, you're, you're in. in. Six years. Oh, what was his last like? Oh, one. Was that his last match, 01 or 04? He did something in TNA. Yep, he yeah, did a three-on-three three match in TNA. I think this is the biggest. Um, I, I, so he I taught was, Spider-Man. Oh, he buzz he he covered that match. <laughs> you only going to get three minutes. <laughs> so I thought they really built Diesel well in this match because I first when he came out, he did not get the cheers. But yeah. then as he started eliminating everybody, little by little, people got behind him. But then when Macho Man comes out, people are behind Macho Man because he's Macho Man. And I, oh, I mean, yeah. oh, yeah. And I know that uh, I, I do believe uh, I think he, he liked Macho Man. Um, Diesel, because I also listen to uh, to click this another show. I listen. Boy, I'm just naming them all. Huh? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody naming us? Hey, they need the. <laughs> no, they're just stealing our shit. They don't name us. They just steal our stuff. We're giving everybody the rub, and they don't even give us a rub. And here he comes, Double J, the Double J. (laughs) Wow, my goodness, Double J. I do like the red and white. Double R, E, Double T. I like that red and white. I don't know what I wrote here. Damn it. I wrote something that was really clever, and I can't (laughs) read it. (laughs) I doubt that. (laughs) Waka waka waka. <laughs> I said, so as you were wa- as you were watching this Royal Rumble on the Peacock, I want to throw out a shout out because Peacock's sponsoring us right now to watch Ted, the most foul mouthed teddy bear there is 
to watch their series. It's a seven. It's series absolutely episode. true. If you want to listen to the kickout crew, you got to go through a couple commercials. <laughs> exactly. You're absolutely watch, right. Watch the series, Ted, and believe me, you will have a blast watching that. Uh, so Double J definitely making the most of his minutes here. Uh, now I know what I was saying, and I don't think it's funny anymore. Boy, is it time for Christmas? He sure looks like a candy cane. Ba-boom. Oh. Not good. Not good. Oh, <laughs> it sure seemed oh. funny in my mind. <laughs> that Valentine's coming up. He's just trying to get in the season. I I bet you won't tell, tell him that in person. Oh, I'll tell him. You know I'll tell him. I told him. <laughs> he get my action figure for a year and a half. I can tell him whatever I want. <laughs> for real. I did get and it, And the though. macho man just it. threw his ass over the ropes. Yeah, and you know what, though? I thought he made the most of his minutes. He was still a young buck here. Now who do we got? Oh, we got Crush. Hi, Crush. <laughs> so much potential. Just couldn't mean it. Part of the, uh, what was the, so we watched the Survivor Series match with Crush where he was part of the Foreign Fanatics, and he's from Hawaii. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, yeah, Hawaii, even though it's, it's not on the mainland, makes it foreign. <laughs> right. <laughs> Non-domestic United States. <laughs> So Savage looking absolutely great here, though. Oh, I love it. Off the top. Hope we're all in together here. On this. He was in his prime at this time. Uh, he's too old, remember? Vince May wanted him gone. Yeah, too he old. definitely isn't performing at all, right? <laughs> you know what? But Brad, how old is AJ Styles right now? Yeah, he's 47, 48, right? Jeez. Yeah. yeah. It's a different time, though. It is definitely a different time. Because Arn Anderson retired at 38, oh, yeah, most and he looked old. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm going to get in trouble for that one now, Amy? <laughs> now, the one thing Arn always says is he's looked the I same mean, age for about 30 years. <laughs> Monster Man did have a little bald spot right there. But... He was always bald, but he wore the hat and had the bald yeah. spot. He, and he didn't. his eyes weren't right either. Like, he always wore the glasses. Hogan and, was always um, bald when he was, yeah. like, 28. <laughs> so... But yeah, always had exactly. a bandana. Yeah. And here's Cassio coming out. All right, so now we got we got Doink and Dink. Ooh, and to a huge that. ovation, by the way. <laughs> because every and I think it's more for Dink. Fine. <laughs> have you listened to Bruce on that Tatanka episode where he's like, if I had it my way, I'd have Doink right now undefeated. <laughs> 30 years yeah. running. <laughs> Another uh um dark side of the ring that was uh, very interesting was yeah. Doink, Matt Bat Born. You guys watched our Jason last week's Bourne. episode of Bam Bam Bigelow. He will be coming out sometime in this match. <laughs> oh, bam bam! Yeah, you like how I put uh, the guys are on fire? I uh, get a little bam bam uh, tattoo pun. Huh? Well done, James. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, so Macho Man got eliminated and. And we got Doink just playing games, right? Yeah, he's a clown. poking eyes. And he's he doesn't really seem like he's... Oh, flowers. here's a shot. He was just playing with their eyes for a while. I mean, you're not picking up Diesel, right? No. <laughs> you can try. But be, imagine being stuck between Diesel and Crush. Two, look, two people look, towering over 6'6". Six, six, two they look like 80 a, pounds. They look like a tag team. <laughs> they could have been. I mean, they're kind of dressed like... The black and the white. Yeah, true. And here we go. Speaking of Bam Bam with Luna Vachon. Oh, yeah. Clean shaven Bam Bam. Let's get some facial hair, huh? <laughs> now, this Good is morning. 1994 Bam Bam. So it was like uh, a young Bam Bam compared to what we watched in ECW. Yeah, so this is like way before like New Japan and everything else, right? Not way before, no. I think Japan was between... Uh, Brian, you can correct me if you want, but I believe that that was before his first WWE run and his second WWE run, correct? That is correct, yes. <laughs> I did do a little research on Bam Bam. <laughs> so now uh, we have Doink thrown out of the ring. Diesel just instructing Bam Bam. Toss him right over. Oh, it's... And then, and then, then the guys turn on him immediately. <laughs> All right. Oh. So, uh, I got a quick question for y'all. Um, you know, of course, we're doing the Rumble because we got Rumble coming up. 
Who's y'all's surprise entrance this year? We'll Could get to that off? in a later segment on my answer. There you have it. Uh, um, so they were working as a team, Diesel and Crush, and then, of course, <laughs> because they couldn't get Bam Bam out, Diesel decided to punch Crush. <laughs> so, so much <laughs> shout-out teamwork. <laughs> Motherfucker, you ain't helping at all. Yeah, like, all right, we can't help. We can't beat him. We're going to beat each other. And we see what happens there. So now we got Mabel. He is not Viscera yet. He is Mabel. How about doing getting carried past the... <laughs> right. <laughs> now looks we right got... in front of the camera getting carried out. Who's with so him? We got four big dudes in the ring right now. Do you guys know who's Was with that... Was that Mo? Yeah, it is Mo. That's right. They were men on a mission. Whoop! There it is. Whoop! There it is. Yeah, very <laughs> so good. The crowd's just yelling it. This is a hell. Of, these are hell of an outfit. These are great outfits. I mean, <laughs> I mean, they look like they should be hanging out with Double J almost. I'm. Mean, this is kind of weird watching them go at like you know Diesel and Mabel going at it, knowing that if it wasn't for Hogan, Mabel was going to be the third man. At the end of the- <laughs> You son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that is inside baseball for you wrestling fans who don't know right. who even the third man is. <laughs> Let alone Mabel. That man. hits a very specific demographic with that yeah. joke. Four of us. <laughs> <laughs> to the eight people that got that joke, that was pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and he's just the one that uh, jumped everyone. on Diesel's back and broke his it's back. It's only two years from now. I mean, I'm just saying. You're right. It is only two years from now. Yet he was in the WWF. <laughs> and he was a man on a mission. <laughs> it, they, that's right. And we, already, here comes Cassio again. And now we have it. We have Brian Haremza's favorite wrestler, Mr. <laughs> Shawn Michaels, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I got an idea. Give me the belt, I'll I'll beat her, buddy. (laughs) This is actually the debut of Sparky Plug. The debut? Yeah. And he's off to an electric start. First ever match in the WWF. And another alternate, by the way. He's doing a fantastic job. Another alternate? Yeah. Alternate did replacing the one, two, three kid. Did he get his code the same place that uh, Steiner's did? That's the question. Say it again. If he got his out, uh, his thing from the same place that Steiner's did. <laughs> yeah, probably. Look at him. Oh, it's, it's the like 90s, man. I wish I had more time growing up then. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so now here we go. We got three big men and four big men. Holly's not a big man. I said four. <laughs> can can we all agree that we're most impressed with the fact the rope didn't snap there? <laughs> yes. So let's just Cassio. pretend I did my introduction of Shawn Michaels Why now. Being Cassio up there. Because <laughs> that's what I meant to do. I got ahead of myself. Here he comes. Brian, that's for you. From five from a minute and a half ago. The wor- the worst wrestler in the entire company is coming to the ring right now. Hey, on his Most- little uh pre match promo thing, he uh he had the Intercontinental Championship and threw it and he's like, I got my eyes on another prize. So I had forgotten here that these two were at odds, you know, because I wasn't I didn't watch the pay per view. Because you think of them as his heavy. Oh. They, his, they uh, actually bodyguard. they were they actually were not. They were well, not at odds at all. Him? Why is he pissed at him? Because they're it's every man for himself. So, so why would they be see, teaming they, up for now though? They shake hands up to show crush. that they're cool, and then yeah, they attack. I yeah. I, I don't like that answer, Brian. I just want to like <laughs> no, I'm not because he's because if you notice crush. as if you notice if Diesel's getting eliminated, Sean does nothing like he always does and just lets it happen. <laughs> so Sean did not help. Yes, true. He did not help. That Even though they shook hands. But it made it look like they were at odds. I mean, because you had the Steiners working together. You had him and Crush working together. So why wouldn't the team work together? If and on commentary, they said, oh, Shawn years. Michaels That's shoved him out. How much a bastard he is. Yeah, but that was bullshit, James. Yeah. That was absolute bullshit. He just did, He was like, 
They, it's like they try to add. He wasn't even around, and they're like, Shawn Michaels pushed him, and it's Shawn Michaels at the other end of the ring. Yeah, I didn't agree. That, that, they were they were covering. We know that. Yeah. Shawn Michaels should have helped him out a little bit. He didn't help him, but he didn't push him out either. That's all I'm getting at. Yeah. <laughs> no, he just fucking let him get. Here comes Cassio again. <laughs> I'm glad I brought it up. <laughs> so now, who do we got? Oh, Mo. He actually went back to come back out. <laughs> yeah. Is Mo an alternate? No. Mo was supposed to be there. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, like the person you were, were looking for is like, Oscar. We got to have Oscar Mo. Like, he's one of the original 30. What'd you say, Oscar? Oscar's the guy who came out with Mabel originally. He was the guy who had wrapped them to the ring. Well, there it is. Where you're, where are you? Where were you 15 minutes ago? <laughs> Laughing. <laughs> <To> make corrections. <laughs> make timely corrections after we don't talk about. It. Hey, I, I, hey, our segment would have never happened now. Would have never brought it up. Adam is not here, so we have to do the delayed thing to make up for Adam not being here. So I do want to know though, for real, on a real note, who's going to be a special entry this year? Yeah, we're waiting for later, aren't we, Mud? No, you can, y'all can say y'all's. I'm saving mine. No, we can say ours. Fuck James. Yeah. I think it's uh, Bron Bra- I think Bron Breaker. Well, it, since Mike didn't do his last week as part of the WrestleMania build, which he was supposed to, everybody else named theirs during the WrestleMania build. So, Mike. That's right. James is doing his WrestleMania build. Oh, what did yeah. I say? Uh, I don't know if anybody Speaking of WrestleMania build, it's Mike. My goodness. <laughs> yeah, but I think... Still waiting for yeah, that Inferno well, match. <laughs> it's going to be Corey Graves. I think Corey Graves is going to show up Uh-oh. and uh, surprise everybody. I like well, it. They've been known to do a couple of... Now, here we go. Greg the Hammer Valentine. <laughs> well, we don't give a fuck about him. I'm asking about... Sold his boots <laughs> on the Treasure Show for $1,000. Everything $1, else is like a million dollars, not his boots. <laughs> well, I mean... Wow. <laughs> Devin, did you get to listen to uh, Mike's WrestleMania card? Not yet. I, I had to get Whoa. that. So. Buckle up. <laughs> we can really oh, use the download, uh, Devin, so if you can get on that. <laughs> I'm halfway through, and then my boss called me in for a meeting, and I just didn't get back to it. Oh, what Bu- the fuck? Buckle up. Mike's yeah. WrestleMania card is a doozy. There's there's great teammate right there. Don't even listen to our own fucking podcast. <laughs> I have a week before this podcast comes out where I'll have listened to, listen to both the rest of the last one. <laughs> no, I ain't waiting. Okay, good. You're supposed to listen to it. Well, you are waiting. You know what the fuck we're talking about. <laughs> uh, I be- but I bet you he listened to Tony Savani today, didn't he? Sammy-, Sammy Guevara had his podcast come out. I bet you hey, what's that, What are we doing? <laughs> I'm like four months behind on Tony, to be honest. I'm, I'm way behind on everything. I'm three weeks behind. I'm just, I'm just talking shit on Devin. <laughs> I'm just always behind. I'm caught up on the kickout crew. Yeah, me too. I'm caught up on Paul or Dave show. That's it. <laughs> oh, reffing it up. Here we reffing go. It up. I'm caught up on reffing it so up. This well. part right here where Crush picks up Sean Michaels. Now, can he not throw him out of the ring? <laughs> he right. slams him on the mat. <laughs> he got him 10 feet in the air. That's not in the script, guys. That is not in the script. That pissed me off. That was <laughs> that is not okay. They should have cut the camera. So now what do we got? We got Tatanka, who also wrestled, you said earlier, right, Devin? I didn't say that. Oh, he might have. I can't remember. <laughs> he but beat he did. Tatanka. He, he did. He wrestled Bam Bam to start. Yeah, he wrestled Bam Bam and beat Bam Bam. So there you have it, Devin. Thanks for uh, not just going with You're it. You're welcome. I'm not a so Tatanka anyways, fan. Anyways, back to my question. So, my asked. men's <laughs> is going to be Corey Graves. Women is going to be um, Jade. I think she's going to make it. Yeah, I said Jade. I said Jade. I said Jade's winning it. I don't know who's winning Who else could uh, win it? Who else is going to win it? Becky. Italia. Becky's won it. <laughs> so? So did it Stone Cold it's going to be Jade. Second and third time. All right, do we want to make a friendly wager? No. All right. All right. All right. Very, very surprised. Charlotte's going to come back. In nine months. Nikki Bella. Nikki Bella's going to come out. All right, she ain't going to win. Oh, you meant just. She's going to win. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Is Corey Graves going to win? No. I think I Trandy think... Fatu is returning as Naomi. 
Feel the glow. Why would you feel that way? Is she is she up in contract? Well, she she's just no lost, longer than the she, TNA she Women's Champion. Yeah. I understand yeah, her, that. Her, her, con- quit, her contract it? her contract did expire at TNA. Okay. She is a free agent. Mm. All right, she so just now lost, we got the, right? the great Kabuki. How does he look like both Hardy brothers at the same yeah. time? <laughs> <laughs> when, I, when, I, when I was watching this, I was like, man, I got to bring this up on the show. He looks Naomi, like Matt and Naomi Jeff Naomi at the same time. Both free agents technically right now, right? As we speak. Who was that, Mike? Naomi and Chelsea Banks are both uh, free agents. Yep. Who was the second yeah. person? I'm sorry. Sasha Banks. Yeah, I mean, how many times are we going to wait for her to show up somewhere? Every week, it's like, oh, here comes Sasha. She even it's put on her own show. Never been more nervous than today. And it was <laughs> like the day of Dynamite. I'm like, okay, is that a signal? Sign? <laughs> she could have had a movie edition. All right, so, ah, uh, Mabel's out. That's oh, a, lot of, a lot of weight being thrown over there. Only well, took 11 of them. <laughs> yeah. Can we talk about they Mo did, that did spot. nothing? What's that, Bryant? Mo did nothing. He just laid on the mat. Didn't help him at all. <laughs> well, hell he yeah, didn't he help his partner. Energy. I would do the same thing. You know, what was it, like, uh, 98, 99 or something like that, when Road Dog, he just held on to the bottom rope and sat there for, like, 30 minutes? That would be me. <laughs> I would do the same damn thing. Good strategy. Or just... Like he's healed. He's healed. Lex Luger. Here he is. He's back. Running out there. Man, he he, he, he looks fantastic. Blowed up already. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> Blowed up already. You guys are mean to him. I mean, you, Mike, when I say you guys. He's one of my favorites, but... He is him. now because you've talked to him. You didn't like him freaking six months ago. <laughs> I didn't like him six no, months No, you ago. didn't. You and Adam both were freaking torturing him. Kabuki's out. I talked to him. I like Lex. I think he is... Uh, he gets a bad route. And I do think he's going to be in this year's Hall of Fame. I thought you were about to say Royal Rumble. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I was like, yeah. Poor taste. Hey. I have my line, guys. I have a line. I don't cross the line. I may some say some bullshit about that. In the, about the PR. Goldberg could show up. His son is now uh, a member of the Colorado Buffaloes football uh, college football team. Well, we, well, we know where that one's going. He's gonna be playing for Deion Sanders, right? Hey, and our truth son uh, just scored like his thousandth point or whatever. Oh yeah. And the page tagged our truth of the judgment day. <laughs> I loved it. Uh, that dude's the fucking best. Our truth, yeah. He's becoming more and more part of the show every week, isn't he? Dude. <laughs> if our truth was part of every segment on Raw, I would watch every segment of Raw. But it's a Saturday Night Live. <laughs> I'm saying. All right. So who is this guy? I is it Tinru? Kenru? Tenru, yes. Tenru. Tenru. Kenru. Yeah, Kenru. he... Okay, I said it right then, first time. He is the um, Japanese version of Andre the Giant. <laughs> what? Okay, uh, I don't agree with that. Yeah, he's he's, he's a big guy. He's, he's big not guy. even bigger than Luger. Uh, yeah, Andre the Giant. You, uh, do you remember Andre? Uh, <laughs> I'm insane. Are Colorado you thinking the... Andrew the medium tall? <laughs> the medium height guy. Uh, he's the medium version, <laughs> Japanese version of Andre the Giant. Andrew the I'm medium height guy. <laughs> 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 I'm trying to give us some credit. Oh, man. dude. Who oh, is he? The black shorts? Like, what? All right, what the fuck else did he do? He, he's the black shorts. He's the Japanese version of Stone Cold. I'm not talking about anything. <laughs> yes. Nope. All right, so who's been there Come a on. long time? It's uh, Bam Bam has been in there a long time, and Crush is that the longest? Crush has been a really long time, and Bam Bam was uh, is after him, I think. But I think those are the longest two. You are correct. Yes. Look at that. Uh, once in a while, huh, Bryant? Hey, so Brad. I want to I want to be the one who points out the family on the hard cam side that's all wearing the same Razor Ramon T shirt. Has anybody else noticed that yet? <laughs> no. All right, yeah. so 
No one's right coming out. Him. And this is another blunder to me. So they, no one comes out. So they say it must be Bret Hart. It must be Bret Hart because he was hurt early. Guess what? That was wrong. And they say it was Bastion <laughs> Booger. And they say it later after Bret Hart comes. It, I feel like they didn't know. Hell, Lex was hurt and he came fucking sprinting like he was Ultimate Warrior. But so Bastion Booger, I still don't know what happened to him that he didn't come out because they don't have an alternate for him. So he was one of the original 30, but these other guys were alternates. But Bash yeah. and Booger, better so pencil something that happened one in. with Bash and Booger backstage. It prevented him from going out, but they didn't have an alternate in place at the time. So are we saying this one right here only had 29 people on it? That is correct. And did you know this, uh, Bryant? Yes, I did. Actually, it was going to be a fact I was going to throw out after the Rumble. So Did they yeah. ever explain it with Bastion Booger? Uh, they made up some joke about how he got too full in catering and couldn't make it to the ring. Yeah, uh, this is absolute bullshit. Something happened, and I'm <laughs> sure Jim Ross is pissed about it, right? So Bastion. should Bastion Booger have gotten a main event? Yeah, title he, shot he, at he they were thrown out. Bastion Booger is the... 90s version of what Curtis Axel was when Curtis Axel said he was never eliminated. Uh, Bastion Booger is that. You know what's 90s. funny is a uh, spoiler. This has you know we'll say multiple winners, but Bastion Booger still should have uh, won it. So there should have been three winners to this Rumble. <laughs> yeah, I mean that makes no fucking sense. Like why? It's Zach why Gowan. I saw a meme that's like a uh, Zach Gowan. Should have injured the rumble because uh, it says both feet must touch the ground, so he would automatically win. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> is there a storyline behind this whole thing with Bastion Booger? Yeah, they just—that's what Brian just said that they made up something, but I don't. It's something happened. Something happened because they did not replace him. <laughs> um, um, so we have uh, Rick the Model Martell in there now. Looks he really good. His nose and started bleeding or something. I mean, there it is. Uh, I. <laughs> Pretty sure Hornswoggle was under the ring. Oh, that would have been awesome. He, How old is he? It's actually, it's actually Dink. Dink is under the ring. Oh, right. Dink. Yeah, Hornswoggle is <laughs> out then. So he has to be Dink. Hornswoggle, yeah. Like, He's just a baby leprechaun at this point. Oh, he was on mm -hmm. a show recently. He was pretty funny on a podcast. <laughs> he posted a video on uh, X. Snow blowing his uh, yard, and the snow was <laughs> half of him. <laughs> it was pretty, pretty so funny. So when he but... turns on the snow blower, does it like push him back? <laughs> Probably. Mine pushes me. Does it take a lot to corral him. For those of you at home that don't know who Hornswoggle in, he was a micro wrestler. Very PG, Brad. I try, buddy. I try, and then I really <laughs> then I go the wrong way sometimes, right? <laughs> so who's coming out now? Oh wait, so what, Bret Hart's here. <laughs> there he is. And he's limping. He's never going to be able to compete in this because the guy that's hurt never ever. He, he get eliminated immediately, right? Yeah. <laughs> he's the best there is. The best there was. The best there ever will I'll be. Tell you what, once he gets in there, he starts moving around a little better. <laughs> right. <laughs> Isn't it funny how that just miraculously happened? <laughs> he's limping to the ring, can't walk to the ring, but all of a sudden he's you know it's a pretty impressive well, move. Do you know why he's limping? Because of the match. Yeah, earlier in the show, he had his leg kicked out of his leg. Yep. Oh, that's right. Do it. Uh, so we had a know. we had a leg kick out of a leg. That's what killed his whole career. No mind. I'm sorry. We had a dude go to the heavens, uh, you know, the match right before this. Gosh, Crush is yeah. still in there and he's working on the leg. They should call it the crush spot. Yeah. And Sparky Plug is still in there? But I, I didn't even give him an introduction. I, I just went right to <laughs> Shawn Michaels. He's still in there? And when he's an alternate. Become, an alternate can do it. From Sparky Pug to Hardcore High. Well, you know what they say. Never go less than. If you're going to replace someone, you go either greater than or different than. Oh, shut up, Brad. Or you turn face. Isn't it funny how you can just turn face? Like, you can count three, two, one, eliminate Brock Lesnar, mm. and then immediately go baby this face. And then carry the company through COVID. Shout out to Drew McIntyre. This is not a fucking 90 seconds or a minute or whatever the fuck. Oh, my gosh. Like. Meltzer, let it go. <laughs> yeah, 30 seconds. So we have Fatu on his way to the ring, and he is number 28. And that is the first time you hear that number for a long time. 
You didn't know what number it was. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, I listened. You listen to all the numbers? So wait, what? Do you think they, what were you saying? They weren't naming they numbers. Are... They weren't saying what number they were. They always naming said numbers. That now. <laughs> do you think they um fabricated the numbers? No. Is that what you're saying? No. He could have been number twenty five. I just don't think it was as organized back then as it is now. But if but if he's number twenty five, but they said he was twenty eight, would you know the difference? Not at this point. How many I beers wouldn't. I had, Mike? It just depends <laughs> on how many beers I had. I'm just saying. I mean, are you two o'clock on a Friday when I watch Whoa, it? We are hitting on all cylinders here. <laughs> I'm just saying. Are you counting everybody that's coming out? Yes. I, I'm a nerd. That's what I do. I'm a wrestling nerd. What number did Uger come out? Uh, twenty-one. Are you sure? Nope. <laughs> but I spoke with confidence. <laughs> That's that's ninety percent of life right there. What Brad just said is life. By passing he, the lie detector, didn't know for sure, maybe. but he said it with confidence, and that's literally that'll get you through eighty percent of life, right? There. All right, so Crush is out of the ring, and it took a lot, a lot Dang. to get Crush out of the ring. And here comes somebody else already. Yeah, here comes somebody twenty nine. And then we have Marty Janetti. You want to talk about a dark side of the ring? You can't miss. This is the one. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? That you want to a- talk about work or mm-hmm. shoot? That dude. <laughs> there you go. They're going at it. Marty Janetti, yeah, work or shoot. <laughs> I can't imagine what those dark guys that were of uh, the ring guys were thinking when they were answering it when he was answering those questions. You remember when Conrad would have Tony read some of his uh, like Facebook <laughs> posts? <laughs> yes. Just came up again. <laughs> Did he not say something about sleeping with his daughter or something? He said a lot of questionable things. I mean yeah. Shawn Michaels just ate a super kick from him. Oh. Put him. Over the top rope. But he didn't get him. Any. Shout out to Brad that one episode where he was like, uh, they were called the Rockers, and then he's tuning up the band, sweet chin music. I was like, man, I never realized that until you said it. <laughs> that's funny how that's funny how that works, isn't it? <laughs> Well, is it so many, I didn't realize Gold Dust was named after Dusty for the first few years I was watching. I'm like, oh, well, okay, well, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> so I wasn't a big, I wasn't, um, I didn't grow up a WCW Dusty guy. So I, or even, I don't know. The American dream. I just didn't put it together. I was such an idiot. Oh, <laughs> uh, here we go. Mike, what's the uh, stopwatch say on this one? Yeah. Uh, two, one. Zero, so this is number okay. 30, right? I think so. Yep, number 30. Adam Bomb. Adam Bomb. Uh, who the fuck is this? And this uh, is when they mentioned about Bastion Booger being too sick to come out. <laughs> so you would know that before. They didn't mention having... Bastion Booger's name until now. That's what I'm getting. At. Yeah, yeah, and then they well, they say he's too sick. You would know that before like making an entrance and everything for him. Yeah, I it's that's um it's interesting. It's it's all these it's, alternates, and maybe they needed one more. And they couldn't find one back there to handle Bruce, it. Bruce, Bruce, goddammit. Paint your face red, and get out there. <laughs> they could have had someone run to the ring afterwards that it was supposed to be him. They didn't do it. I am so fucking who who is this guy? Adam Bomb? Brian Clark. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. He so became part of the, the what was it, the Chronics with uh, Crush later but in WCW and then back in WWE or F, whatever. Effie. Effie. Yeah. Shout out. <laughs> hey, shout out. So this is definitely uh, where it drags a little bit, the Rumble, and I think that happens every year this time. Because everybody's out. There's no more anticipation of who's coming in. And it's just yep. a matter of one after another having to come out now. And you, you have a lot of cleaning house to do at this point. Mm. There's a lot of people in that ring. There is. So while we're doing this, I'm going to do a special edition of Mike's Meat Minute. Can't wait. You know God forbid you don't get your shit in. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like if we don't follow the outline exactly every <laughs> week, it's like someone's pissed me. What do you mean we ain't doing this? What the fuck matters? Okay. Hey, isn't it funny how like... Everybody will be like, oh, I didn't see it on the outline. Oh, I didn't do this. But then if you deviate from the outline, it's like, what? Yeah. yeah. Oh, what? I mean, nobody misses that. <laughs> nobody misses 
I'm just trying to give it some spare time, but yeah, fuck y'all. Hey, go ahead. No, I mean, pasta salad. Boil your noodles, toss them in oil. Yeah, no, no, no salad. I mean, I actually got meat in my Mike's meat man. There's bacon involved. In the name. It, there's bacon. You guys like bacon? I don't like bacon. I love, I love bacon. bacon. You like bacon. I, of course, love bacon. <laughs> you guys like pickles? Mm. I love all cuts. Of I bacon. like pickles. You like pickles? Regular pickles, not a uh, bread and butter. Those are trash. Yeah, no. I those. love all pickles. I, I got a, I got a special idea for all y'all. Okay, so here's what you want to do. You want to get a jar of pickles. You want to get two packets <laughs> of ranch dressing. <laughs> like the ranch packing seasoning. Sweet cough button. Right. So get we two packages of ranch dressing <laughs> seasoning. Put them in the pickles. Let it sit for forty eight hours. <laughs> Good God! I'm just I'm just saying this is a My, Mike's long Meat long Marathon. Progress. I guess is what we're doing on this. Yes, <laughs> yes this is a long progress. Two days At, after forty eight hours. <sighs> yeah, those pickles sit in the ranch. How long? Season. 48 hours, two days. days. Soak the shit two days. Two days. Let it sit for two days. You take a pickle out and you wrap it with bacon. And two days. Two days. At 250 for two days. (laughs) Two days. going to be the day that we're going to throw it back to you. 48 hours. Keep going, Devin. Oh, yeah. (laughs) That's like two Royal Rumbles. Okay, so you wrap it with bacon, you throw it in an air fryer, fry that shit up, and you got a fried bacon wrapped pickle. So if I start today, I can have it by the uh, football game starting <laughs> tonight. It'll be your uh, fucking Valentine's meal for you and Deb. <laughs> I want to mention it. Start today. Bam Bam Bigelow is still All right, Brad, shut the fuck up. All oh, my I'm God. Saying... God forbid we talk about what we want to talk about. We got to talk about your freaking 48-hour pickle. <laughs> yes. All right. Next time, listen. Go to the store. Spend $2 on a fucking jar of pickles. Buy two. Money. Buy two jars because you know you're going to yeah, drop. I'm going to break one. Yes. <laughs> yeah, because we know you're going to break one. And spend... 50 cents on a packet of ranch dressing stuff. Greg the Hammer Valentine out. Put it in there and let it sit for two days. Are you going to eat a whole fucking jar of pickles in two days? No. Let My it sit for will. two days. Put it in the back of the refrigerator. Behind everything. Fried pickles are behind ball. everything. Forget it, sir. Forget yeah. about it. Back <laughs> the fridge. Exactly. <laughs> Three weeks <laughs> later, pull out that jar of pickles and go, oh shit. <laughs> Is that ranch seasoning or mold? I can't tell. <laughs> you, you don't even have to wrap it up in bacon and fry it. Add a bomb out. I'm telling you. It's starting to heat up now, Mike. I'm glad the uh, did you get your shit <laughs> yeah. in or what? The 250? Sounds pretty good, Mike. I didn't say nothing about 250. That's referee yeah, is uh, really angry. Up. By the way, Adam, who's the referee? <laughs> Which one? Oh, by the way, Mike Refer- uh it, but if you yeah, wrap that shit in bacon, then you get all that juice in there. Oh fuck! I'm telling you right now, you have you're having an orgasm just eating. A who just of who just got eliminated? I don't know. I can't fucking Mike. Fuck up. <laughs> um, yes. I'm glad you asked, Brad. It is a uh, Vince McMahon and Ted DiBiase, who is also on Premier Streaming Network. Yes, Ted DiBiase. Everybody's Theodore got a pop. Theodore DiBiase and uh, <laughs> Vincento Kennedy McMahon. Yeah, he's doing. You know what I realized by listening to that show? I think he is a super nice guy. Mm. You think they should have went with Theodore DiBiase instead of Ted? Wouldn't be bad. And uh, Marcus D'Angelo, good friend of the show, does a great job on that show. Do you think he was named after the famous lawyer DiBiase? Hey, can or is it his real biological last name? name? um, And it's his real name. (laughs) It's his real last name. I did not know that. Well, now now Theodore DiBiase. Can we go back a few segments for the in-ring performer? And um, the beginning of the show. <laughs> and talk yes. about that is his real name. If you guys listen, wanted to no, know, listen, no, listen, I'm for real. 
Kristen Cage and Dustin Rhodes for the TNT title. Did y'all see that match? Yes. That was a really good match. I mean, it was a great match, it. right? James? Yep. Oh, yeah, I dug it. Shout out, Dustin, <laughs> hook him. Fucking Brad didn't Texas bring it zone. up. No, I didn't bring it up. It. But I would like to bring up this, that um, Shawn Michaels in the ring is selling his ass off right now. We're not talking Shawn about Michaels, Michaels. the go. We're not talking about the match recovering, Mike? <laughs> we'll talk about it as we go. How about when people get eliminated, we let people know? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, We're not uh, talking about the match we're doing to watch along with. <laughs> that, that Shawn Michaels and Fox just hey, collided head to head. Dex Luger is getting chopped the fuck up uh, by that uh, Andre the Giant looking dude. Is that he him? Is not Andre the Giant. <laughs> He's still in the Japanese Andre the Giant. <laughs> Yes, I said the, the I said the Japanese. And I just want I just want to go on record that Bam Bam got eliminated. And I was listening to something about a fucking pickle and missed it. <laughs> so we're down to four men. Japanese oh, Andre's wait, eliminated. Brad, if you try it with the jalapeno, oh, I'm telling you, put some ranch seasoning in the jalapenos. I just figured you didn't like hot stuff. So we're down to Bret Hart, Shawn Michaels, Fought Two, and Lex Luger. That's a big yeah. spot for Fa too, isn't it? But but hundred percent. I mean, the other guys are top guy. Well, I mean, I wouldn't say Shawn Michaels is a top guy yet, but um, but he's, he's never been a top guy, guy. never. Right <laughs> but he you know, was on his I way. Like, the but... final four is usually somebody they showcase, and they got yes. Fa too, like as one of the final four. I don't, and there's nothing wrong with that. I I, I mean, I guess maybe it's like we're looking back at it now that maybe it's surprising. The other three are definitely not. Fatu? I think they had high hopes for Fatu. Well, he, I mean, he was successful. I think they he kept giving him opportunity after opportunity with he the Sultan and then eventually Rikishi. And the Rikishi, the biggest, he was over the most is Rikishi with two cool. That's his, oh, that's his claim. Shoving that's his ass in everybody's face. That's his legacy. <laughs> that is his legacy. It really is. Stink um, facing. Who would have now thought? the goats put in the boots to Bret Hart in the corner. By the way, funny doesn't draw money, my ass. <laughs> the goat. So now we're done. The double team, right? So Shout out to Bret, usually goat. wearing like a plain black uh, top, but this one's got like the jizz stains all over it. <laughs> did I hear that right? <laughs> I think I think you did. Okay, jizz. I heard jizz, right? Yeah. <laughs> 1994, huh? Devin Who would have thought that they were uh, like barely doing fucking high school gymnasiums at this time? Yeah, this was three years before I was born. You want to hear something funny, Devin? It's the year I graduated high school. Oh, 94? Yep. Cool. So I down, graduated to Brett, down to Bret Hart and Lex Luger, which is, I would think, what was expected. 94 is the year my mom met Marty, Marty Gennetti. Marty McFly? <laughs> no. <laughs> Janetti. I really thought you were going to say Marty McFly. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like it. Yeah. So did Mike leave? Is he pissed off? All right. So here it was. The big spot, right? Uh oh. I'm, yes, I'm definitely pissed off. No, I think. They they never oh. get one good angle, by the way, of who landed first. And by, for a very good no, reason. They did have one good angle. If they give a good angle, you're going to see someone lands first in this situation, apparently. Because they never give it. There he like is. The Hebner. rock touching two feet. So this is this is what makes me laugh about Hebner here. As much as he is on Brett's side during this whole thing, he screws him later, doesn't he? Hey oh. Right. How do you feel about that, Bryant? <laughs> money, 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 it money. Makes money makes me laugh. Money. It makes me laugh really hard right now. Especially since Brett was always a fan of Joey Morella as a referee. I feel like it should have been flip flopped. I agree. Well, that would have been that would have been a good thing. Especially with Vince. He knew what was going to happen. He should have damn. Yeah, know, why didn't he uh, come storming down and blow out his quads on this so, one? So, <laughs> this is a little prior to Vince being known as the owner, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, I think people knew. They were like, we would know. <laughs> you know? Yeah. But I did I only know him as the announcer for years. My dad's the one that told me that he was the owner. I'm like, what? That guy, That's the announcer? Like... Why is he doing his own job? <laughs> 
So who's going to make the decision here to decide what happens? Well, you know what happens. Yeah, but who decides that? Earl is Hebner? Jack Tunney about to come out? Yes, he is. He's a figurehead. <laughs> the greatest of figureheads, according to like how Brett's uh, limping again, you know. You know what well, makes me laugh about hard. this part? Is they announce the winners, right? Each each of them. And the people go nuts like they don't know this is a schmoz. <laughs> They're like, yeah! <laughs> but... And it's the same thing with like Cena and Batista. Yeah, but that was an accident. That one was an accident. Yes, I know that one was an accident, but it's like same. I still don't know how you rip your quads. I, I don't even. <laughs> You're freaking. Do you don't know how to run to the ring? <laughs> what I mean, happened? I, I still don't understand why he did. <laughs> That's a, yeah. He should have been people cheering right for Bret Hart because he gets his hand raised. Obviously, something's up, fans. <laughs> Did you guys notice that the it sounded like a lot of children with the cheers and the, and the countdown and everything? Oh yeah, yeah, I, I noticed that a lot. It's not like that today. What it if looks Cody like a and CM birds Punk do this on this year? That could happen. You're not wrong, Devin. Cody and CM Punk fall out of the ring together. Oh, Same exact Lord. time to end it. I think something weird's got to happen now. Now that there's so many people that should win. Yeah, when was it that Cena and two thousand? Oh five or something. Or five, right, uh, Brian. Two thousand five. Yes, two thousand five. You know, Great. Years. Holy shit! I can't believe we're right again. It's it's about time for a fuck finish for a Romo. I mean, is this what you're wearing, Tony? Ninety four. Sweet tie. Look at it. <laughs> is it? I'm I'm saying ninety four, oh four, two thousand twenty twenty four. What happened yeah. to fourteen? But that was oh five. Yeah, it was Wasn't 05. That, well, it was 14, Alberto <laughs> Del Rio. Yeah, he's getting close. And the greatest Royal Rumble. I got I to gotta, I gotta look. No. Or was greatest that Roman Rumble, Reigns? Why don't we cover that one? Alberto Del Rio won in 2011. 11. That makes 11. sense, right? You need to worry about 11. I'm saying there would be a fuck finish this year. Quote me on it. They don't show their feet. They don't show their feet. <laughs> sweet, oh. sweet uh, yeah. shot of the turnbuckle. Yeah. The turnbuckle. <laughs> Why is um? What? We're gonna go to the instant replay of the fucking turnbuckle. <laughs> Can we talk oh, about Sting doing belt? like prayer hands right in front of his face the whole time? Like, what are we doing? I don't. Get I love Howard Finkel's oh, reactions here because this, this is like the fucking NFL, right? And that right, camera yeah, angle is clearer than a lot of hour. that. Isn't it funny how NFL has all these 4K cameras? But when they zoom in on something, it looks like fucking 720p. <laughs> you they, know? Can't get they can't get the, the winner. Tony, tell me what the hell I need to say in this mic. Oh, he has to stop. He does. <laughs> hey, Finkel's selling it with them facials. Freaking Lex is pissed. Finkel with more hair than Brad here. Well, that's by choice there. I do shave this part, okay? Uh, all right, okay. I, you don't lose hair down here. <laughs> now I want Brad to go as Howard Finkel for Halloween this year. Yeah. Yes, me too. Hey, in Tampa, I Not was me, honestly me. thinking about uh, like when they you get done cutting time. Eric's hair, if there's like a two guard or a three guard on them buzzers, you know, just, uh, just take a little off the top. <laughs> Free haircut? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Do you think the fans at this time felt cheated? Probably. Yeah, I'd say so. He's I just can't there. quit looking at that whole family in fucking Razor Ramon t-shirt. You're welcome. <laughs> like five of them. Like five of them okay, straight okay. across. All Razor shirts. There it is. They announced them both as winners. Yeah. And uh, now what? <laughs> now we so have they, a, so do they a real both pickle, go to like a real pickle, huh? Isn't it funny how uh, the first WrestleMania without Hogan and there's uh, two Rumble winners and you know all that? It seems like they were kind of pulling out all the stops. I'm not. I'm gonna tell you right now. I didn't hate it. I liked it. I thought it was entertaining. It was good. I um. So should we not even talk about Mania and do a watch along in April? Of the oh, we I'm not watching the whole yeah. fucking movie. Do you have Fine. a week? 
Um, no one's a match. <clears throat> I can do a match, but I'm not watching a whole fucking mania. So we do have some listener <laughs> questions. Oh, yeah, not, good to not many this week, but we have a couple. Two are from Amy, and they are visual. So do you um do you want me to ask the first question, Brian, and then you can get that stuff ready? Well, we already know what Amy thinks about it. Uh, whatever you want to do, Brad. I just didn't know if you were ready. So I'll, I'll go ahead and ask the first question. Uh, it comes from Ben Jones. If ben you out. if you rebook the ending of the match, would you have kept the same result or gone with a clear winner? If so, who and why? Ooh. I think you go clear winner, but the who is definitely a uh... – because do you want kind of a, a fucky finish but Brett winning and that way Lex has like a chip on his shoulder type thing? Gotcha. I think that the experiment with Lex was dead at this point. He lost or he beat Yoko at SummerSlam but by DQ and that was probably the highest that he was ever going to get. I feel like just go with Brett. Give Brett his main event match against Yoko and let's Both go baby it. faces, right? I um I, I like what they did. Um, keep it. For me, I'm keeping it. I I would do if I would if I did something like that. I would go to the next pay per view, have them face each other for the winner. Well, make yeah. that make that your main event. Yeah. Okay. Like in your house, whatever <laughs> before yeah, maybe. I mean, even they did this year. If this so year, they did it, yeah. If this year they did it, you know, where it's like a tie to finish, the next pay per view, those two wrestle, the winner gets that main event. They did that with the big... final four that one year. Uh, they right. did the, you know. But was there only a big right. four at the time? Beware of dog. Was there more than? Oh, they had those pay per views back then. That's right. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, but yeah, like yeah. that's when the final four fought each other. <laughs> I'm yeah. I'm just about like nowadays. Like, you know, we had a tie situation. Those two wrestle next pay per view, the winner gets the main event. Why would you just restart the match? The whole From match? One? No, all, the two of them. The two 30? of them. No, but why you guys computer? say a sudden death, sudden death now a match and first pinfall wins. Okay, but then again, if you do it the next pay per view, that's what gets you your buys. But why wasn't that an option here? Because they weren't worried about that shit. No, because they wanted this controversy. Is what I'm getting. At. Yeah, they weren't. They weren't <laughs> worried about the buys and everything else. Then now right. they are. All right. Well, we all have our opinions. So go ahead, uh, Brian. Put up whichever What's one you want opinion? first. I said it. I liked the way it was. I enjoyed it. All right. So Amy wants to know which one you get rid of forever. Or which is the worst candy in this picture? Mm. Pam and Anderson. I'm going Almond Joy. <sighs> what? I don't like coconut. I don't like nuts. Huh? <laughs> Shout out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably getting rid of the good oh, plenty, right. honestly. Yeah, good and plenty suck too. Those are those freaking those are the black licorice ones, right? Like Mounds is good. What you call it's good. Baby Ruth, bomb, hundred grand. Shout out. I love. Oh, sorry, did you grand. just say? Did you just say you eat what you call it? I like what you call it. What? <laughs> you call it. These are terrible. No, they're not. You, what about raisinets? Raisinets are overrated. Oh, uh, raisinets are fantastic. I have three, and then I'm <laughs> done with them. There's two packages of Swedish fish. We're not talking about that. <laughs> they got Swedish fish on here twice. There's two thousand grand bars as well. There's a you mean so it becomes two thousand. Yeah. Grand? Aren't they hundred grand, not thousand? It's a hundred, hundred thousand dollar bar. Hundred thousand dollar bar. Oh, uh, that's what it was candy? called. Before it was a hundred grand. Um, hundred grand. Oh, yeah, yeah. Seize candy. That's about a hundred grand too. I'm not a fan of Butterfinger either. Yeah. Really? I love Butterfinger. I mean, they're okay. Good plenty. I said good and plenty. Crunch. I was never big a never big fan of Crunch. What about Crackle? <laughs> um, no. <laughs> What's your favorite? I do like bar? Snickers and the Snickers ice cream bar, the best. Uh, you know what's underrated on this page? Rolos. Yeah. Uh, Rolos. Are... I like milk duds too. I like I like a lot on here. I'm a, I freaking. I like the York peppermint patty when I feel yeah. a sensation. 
All right, I mean, let's make our picks. Let's make our picks. So what's the one we're getting rid of? I'm getting rid of um I'm getting rid of Almond Joy. Good and plenty. I, I, I'll agree with that. I can do that one. <laughs> Great, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I didn't know we had to be a team effort on this, but uh <laughs> talk about Fuck putting in all the effort. <laughs> yeah, I agree with you. Yep, that uh, one. Devin? Uh, I'm not what you might call it. Uh, I'll get rid of those. Oh, so what's the one we're keeping now? Is that what you want to know? I don't, I don't even know if I've had it. Keeping them all. Reese's? <laughs> yeah, Reese's is Take good. five. I love uh, a Twix, too, guys. I love a Twix. Five. Oh, Twix is fucking Shout out Fifth too. Avenue. You really don't see those much. Uh, Man, anymore. Shout out 100 Grand Bars, too. They're freaking underrated. All shout right. out Almond Joys. Man. They'd be really like yeah. awesome. <laughs> Voice from the heaven. Wait a minute. We haven't even talked about the Kit Kat on there. Oh, <laughs> it's good shit. What, what is your vote for the keep? To keep? Yeah, we're keeping uh, one out. We're keeping one in. Yeah. One. We're breaking uh, all the rules. <laughs> By the way, I wonder what her it is. It is an Amy thing. So, what better yeah. way to honor Amy than to just make up her own yeah. shit? We're keeping them all <laughs> and I'm killing them all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm eating them first, uh, then I'm getting rid of them forever. Yeah. We, we're going to blame Brad, so it's Brad's fault. Everything's fucked up on his whole roll, but. Dude, I, I'm keeping peanut M&Ms. I, I love peanut the M&Ms. fuck so out of here. Favorite. Ew, gross. Yeah. Why don't you freaking roof your FTR while you're at it, huh? Good Lord. You hate peanut M&Ms? I, I just, it's all peanut. It's all peanut. Just eat some freaking peanuts. It's not enough chocolate. It's yeah. bad proportion. I don't even know who you are. Really. <laughs> I think Amy's right. Do you have a head trauma here that we really? need to talk about? Definitely been hitting the head. There's Ninety-two me. episodes wow. in, and I don't even know who you Did are. Did you anymore. see the way I landed on my flat back bump? <laughs> Had anybody noticed that? It wasn't the right way. Well, you should have took lessons from Adam. He's our mm-hmm. entering performer. Freaking asshole, chief. Talk to your chin. An absolute you rare. You ain't been right since you got kicked in the balls by somebody. So that's correct. But my head injuries go way back. Well, I mean. <laughs> All right, um, go ahead and put up the other graphic, uh, there, Bryant, if you have a moment. If you're not too you, busy. <laughs> yeah. You literally sent me just that. I sent you the video. I told you to do the video, remember? You did not send me a video. I didn't send it to you. I said, can you play Amy's video on there from before? You said, yes, ah. I can do that. But we can Here wait we do that after uh, he books Mania, if you'd like. Yeah, we'll go with you that. You remember that conversation? Nope, no. That's fine, that's fine. It's just, you're a liar, but that's okay. <laughs> that's my own head traumas. That's what it Boom. is. See, now they're contagious. Brad's <laughs> spreading head traumas to everybody. Take a look. I'm just going to go back while you book Osmosis. me. Osmosis. You're osmosising <laughs> your deficiencies. Shout out. I'm Shout glad out. that we get to do this on air so all of our fans get to listen to us uh, be ill-prepared also. I said, <laughs> Brian, can you? I said, Brian, can you use that clip from Amy tonight? And you're, yes, I can use it. Here now, I don't think it's the clip I didn't know. It's, I didn't know about that clip. <laughs> I love the fact that we do this on air all the time. I totally thought you were talking about the FTR clip. So, yeah, that's on me. Okay, great. I had not, well, um, you created something from me just writing that. And oh, this is funny shit. All right. We can, all right. Back to you, James. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> professional podcast wow. <laughs> apparently i was part of it and didn't even know it <laughs> yeah Yo, it was a surprise to you but i guess the cat was out of the bag and you didn't even realize it nope. <laughs> uh, well hey before i book mania i just want to give a shout out to me and brad for being uh, the funny thing about commenting on sports <laughs> on our podcast is we're always wrong literally every time we talk about sports. We're always like a week out, and 90% of the time, we're completely incorrect. So Dallas definitely lost. Philadelphia lost. And, yeah, I guess uh, Devin's shitbag team, by the time this airs, uh, hell, by the time this airs, though, they have won the Super Bowl. <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now. Far out as we are. Don't take that team too lightly, Devin. Do not take that team too lightly. Hey. It's going to be Tampa. We want Tampa to win. No, we don't. I fucking hate Baker. I, Baker. Know. I want Detroit. Listen, listen, I made a bet. We want Taylor it. Swift versus Eminem in our Super Bowl. Listen, listen. Kansas City no, we do not. Detroit. No, we listen, do not. Listen, listen, Landis. Listen, no one's talking. 
It's tremendous. It's tremendous. Okay. Last year, I made a one dollar bet. Wow. It was a random pick for the Super Bowl winner. The winner gets two hundred fifty dollars. My pick was Tampa. <laughs> so. Hey, speaking of, can we talk about the bullshit with the colors you brought to our attention earlier that's no longer no longer uh, in, in it? You said it was going to be uh, the, the Cowboys colors. Remember what? that guy said the about colors the colors are purple and red. Yeah, it's going to oh. be Ravens, Niners. Oh, God, that it changes every week. All I'm saying is <laughs> I went on one betting site and bet $1, but if Tampa Bay goes to the Super Bowl, I win $250. So, yes. <laughs> Right now, I am wanting Tampa Bay to go to the Super Bowl. You made part two of my confessions. Shout out, Usher. Half Brian, go ahead before James goes. Play that clip. <laughs> if I spend two hundred forty nine dollars on them going to the Super Bowl, <laughs> fuck yeah, I'm down. Mike, I hope you lose a dollar. All right, here we go. This is what uh, she showed us online. She wanted us to know what we thought. <laughs> grown man it. strength right there that, that is, is grown un- man strength i mean that is not good for your back that that's from amy yeah that is from amy she wanted to know yeah. what we thought of that move uh-huh. that is grown man strength right there I, for those I of you listening ugly. brad can you explain the move no <laughs> it's dude it's flies like a- in the air homeboy catches him and then grown man uh suplexes him i guess like or a not a suplex but belly <laughs> Almost brings up all the way down to the ground, Ben. Yeah, it's the, the bottom like says, picks him up. up and all the way back. I don't know how to, I've never seen anything like it. The hey, bottom says good. a pop up gut wrench suplex. Unbelievable. He throws him up in the air, catches him, and then suplexes him. So that is Jeff Cobb. For just so you guys know, he, we have seen him on AEW. Uh, for those of you that may not follow him outside of there, excellent. That's a Yes, that's a fucking amazing move. And it might have been Amy that shared it on Twitter that I seen it. Yeah, so I just but, wanted you guys to watch that. But uh, anyway, that's all I got there. So that's all the yeah. questions. Back to you, James. Hell yeah. So uh, I guess it's my turn to book Mania, huh? Can't wait, brother. Oh, hell yeah. Shout out Cheers. to Bober for uh, presenting this idea. And I think we've had a lot of fun with it. Obviously, yeah. Mike, uh, you know. That's a failed drug test on his uh, WrestleMania card. But <clears throat> it is my turn to book I, it, I, I guess. guarantee you at least three of my matches are going to be on WrestleMania. Yeah, the Shane McMahon one. Can't wait to see it. <laughs> but uh, I kept mine uh, relatively short. I didn't book uh, that many matches. But uh, Yeah, book two nights. I did. And uh, so night one, match one, kicking off WrestleMania. We have Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens versus the Creeds. I think that's their name. And it is a loser leaves WWE match. <laughs> yes. What the hell? Who wins? Who wins? Yeah, he's not talking wins. about the Creeds, brother. The Creeds he's wins. not talking about so the Creeds. Kevin losing. Owens and Sami Zayn leave WWE. <laughs> oh, fuck off. <laughs> Miracle Michael, you you have it, baby. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're an AEW. Hey, we're starting off hot. Oh, you know, I, that could be yeah, the only match, baby. and I would be like, this is the best WrestleMania of all time. And, and so you know it's the Creed Brothers. Susan yeah. leaves WWE. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Whatever. Goodbye. All right. All right. Love I can it. see that. Sammy That's and, it. No, uh, I'm kidding. Going over on that. Yeah. I have uh, the U.S. title match, Logan Paul versus L.A. Knight. Yeah. Yeah. I have uh, the Raw tag, and it is a uh, <laughs> shocker, Finn and uh, Damian versus R-Truth and Miz. Oh. Needs more R-Truth in my life. I know that just happened, but uh, whatever. I'm, I'm down. I'm down. They've been a tag team before. Yep. Yeah. I'm down. You said awesome just for Raw. And that's Finally. some awesome truth. That's that's the raw tag team. Okay, I'm down. Uh, your SmackDown women's belt. I'm having Rhea versus Becky. Ooh, nice. Because why not? 
So does then, that mean uh, Becky? Oh, okay, now you're doing it. I'm sorry. No, go ahead. No, no, no. You were going to talk about the Rumbles. I apologize. Oh. You're winners. So that would, I just was curious. So that'll answer my question when you answer that. <laughs> uh, Well, fuck. I didn't think about did the women's, women's Rumble. Well, do you think Becky wins the Rumble? Or do you think it's just a, a, the separate? Probably uh, not. Actually, no. I think I will save that uh, for my day two. Okay. Okay. And then uh, the main so event, who, night who one. Who wins that match? That's not who, the game. Maria. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was, I was told that more, six times. Here's the thing. The only one that no, I picked a winner I, I, yeah, on was Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens losing and leaving WWE. That's the only one I picked a winner on on my matches. Okay. My main event, night one, CM Punk versus Seth Rollins. But none of them win the Rumble, <laughs> so we just get there. Okay. Okay. Night two, opening it up with Uso versus Uso. I think that's a. I don't. I guess I'll feel that way. Uso. I just, I'm, I'm just not excited for it. That's all. I need to get excited for it. I guess. You I'm know, not. it's going to be a good match, though. They both can go. I just, but I they have to the book it to where, like, out. you have to book it to where the brothers hate each other. Because here's the thing. What? They flip flop on each other so much, it's probably not going to have any heat because you're like, that's okay, they're going to be a tag team next week. <laughs> you know? Rumble. During the during the rumble, they're both gonna be in the ring at the same time. And that would be okay. Okay. Oh, those... Yeah. Uh, All right. So I agree with both of you because when the first time the Hardys face each other, Matt and Jeff, when they face at WrestleMania, I was not ready for that match and was like kind of sour to it. But when they faced off an Impact with a little story behind it, Matt trying to get Brother Nero there. Like then, I was kind of for it. So I'm with you, James. If they can, they can build a story. It'd be great. Like last, like when they had a bunch of heat against each other, like towards the end of last year, that'd be good stuff. But now it's kind of fizzled. You know, well, they could always rekindle it. Yeah, we got Yeet versus No Yeet. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Let that sit for 48 hours. Damn uh, right. <laughs> My uh, IC title match is uh, Gunther versus Brock. I would like to see oh, that at WrestleMania. I think they put on a good uh, match. Obviously, everybody's going to know it's bullshit. Brock going for the IC belt, you know, but I think those two could have an awesome match. How? how do, what's the finish? Gunther. You book it. You're booking it. You book the finish right now. Gunther wins. How? how? Big old slap, close on, whatever thing. And I don't know, pins him. <laughs> <laughs> There's a thing going around X right now that was like, everyone's expecting Punk or Cody or possibly LA Knight to win the Rumble. Wait till Brock Lesnar wins it. That'd be some <laughs> shit. I got the uh, SmackDown uh, tag titles. Finn and Damien versus Chad Gable and Otis. I like how you separate them. Can we get Chad Gable and Otis to win one? It, did yeah, I this not one. Do they I can think... win this one. I like that way, Damien I, I and Finn still Gable are tag thing. title yeah. champions. Devin, Devin, I did that last week. You did not say not shit about it. He wasn't here. <laughs> he wasn't. I was pressing the button on a score clock. So there you go. He's you have to listen to it, and he's going to give you a great compliment when he does listen. Finally. Oh boy, I will, I will, Mike. You'll see that in the text messages off air. You know, these motherfuckers hated my book of mania. Just thought the cocaine must have been really good that day <laughs> because you were on one. <laughs> uh, Mike or Vince Russo, you know, uh, Herb Avers. Herb Avers yeah. was the best. That cracked me <laughs> up. What in the what was it? Herb Avers eight ball is this? Something like that. It wasn't right. Herb Abrams, Vince Russo. <laughs> uh, for the Raw Women's uh, belt, I have Rio versus winner of the Rumble, Bailey. Oh, awesome. I mean, yeah. I picked Jade, but I'll take Bailey. <laughs> I, I think that's what's going to happen. I really do. Well, he's got the. Yep. See, I yeah. think the opposite. I think Bailey just fights her way through her faction, but yeah. I like it still, you know? I, I left a name off of the Royal or off of uh, WrestleMania. I just realized. What Roman? 
I haven't uh, heard Austin Theory yet. left them off a list before. I didn't yeah, know. Yeah, Austin. Here's a spoiler. Austin Theory and Cody Rhodes are not on my card. I just <laughs> there you go. One on one. I was looking because I'm getting to like the main event, and I was like, "Holy fuck!" I left Cody off this. <laughs> so uh, hey, Cody versus Austin, Austin Theory. Theory. Huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Night two. Kick off the show. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, my main event, my main event for all the marbles, we have Roman Reigns versus your winner of the Royal Rumble, Hangman Page. Oh, <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> As he's in the main events right now of AEW. So, Hangman Page is going to win and beat Roman and end the streak. That is cowboy Ooh. shit. That is cowboy, cowboy. shit. And then, then James can say that's cowboy <laughs> shit because I mean, we know what you're doing. I uh, y'all knew I was gonna do some bullshit. I know. Hangman Page. I Dave thought you were saying Rumble Rock wins it and beats Roman. Your Hogan record, goodbye. Hangman Page is WWE champion. Hey, James got to say cowboy shit somehow. It ain't it ain't the football team. <laughs> so. oh, I took a lot of cowboy shit while I was dead in bed. And everybody just wanted to talk shit. Hey, let's check on El Cora. Is El Cora good? No, he's sick as fuck under the bed. And then Devin, anybody watching box? No, my team's in the playoffs, Devin. I'm just not watching. <laughs> what a dick what that kind was. Of that was dick shit is that? No one answered forever either. <laughs> no one just, did. Are, anybody watching box? No, Devin, we're not watching the playoffs. Why would we watch the playoffs in the football? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, nobody watches the playoffs. I'm all specific except box. I mean, <laughs> anybody watching box right yeah, now? Cool. I look emoji. Fuck off is what I want to say. <laughs> yeah, here's the cool. thing. If, if Dallas was winning, do you think Devin would have been like, anybody watching Fox? No. Hell I wanted no. to say shit because my team was losing, which gives me brings me back to another thing. You assholes wanted to talk shit to me. Nobody was like, hey, anybody check on Stanton? No, it was, oh, the Cowboys are losing, so let's make fun of James. Yeah, every other team next, that was the next the playoffs, night, pal. Every other team that loses, ah, it's fine. Let's just make fun of James. Cool shit. That's why they're America's team, because y'all ride the dick more than the fans do. Boom. Yeah. And that is nice. Cowboys shit. That's right. That is the spirit of June. Yeah, for <laughs> real. <I'll> live forever. <laughs> but no, that is my... uh. I mean, uh, if you want me to book a real main event, I can, but Hangman Page wins the Rumble, beats Roman. It's more believable than Mike's picks. <laughs> well, fuck off, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> is this where you yeah, say your spoiler, true. James? Or is that later still? That was the spoiler. Hangman Page wins the Rumble. <laughs> oh, that's your, that's your surprise <laughs> debut. Yeah, the that's my surprise <laughs> entrant. Hangman Page, and he wins the motherfucker and beats Roman at Mania. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, I think Andrade's coming back. It's a good game. Isn't it funny? Uh, Charlotte pushed for him to come back to WWE. He pushed Andrade, pushed for Ric Flair <laughs> to go to AEW. Yeah. So it's like, hey, y'all should get Pop Pop on here. All right. I see think, you. I'm out. <laughs> I'm going back to WWE. I think MJF might show up at the Rumble. He's injured. I think he signed. I think he's re signed with AEW. Charlotte's going to come back like Cena and oh, whatever. Mike, Mike, if they let him go, I I just, there's just no way they can let him go. They're done. They cannot let him go. Him and Britt, you have to, you have to pay him and Britt, whatever. I'm just saying, I think that he will throw everything at it. And he should. Him him and Britt Baker, like, you have to pay them whatever the fuck they want. Those are your stars. She was a bigger star than Jade. Money, I disagree with the not. Britt Baker one. She I hasn't been significantly on TV in a while. Well, long you can make her time. Yeah, but it's, well, it's look, AEW look through and through. Has the, the women's signing. division been significant since she left? I'd say it's relevant right now with Tony Storm and the reemergence of Diana oh, Perrazzo. No, they're good. I think it's better now. That's a debut. Left. So, so it was trash until debut. two weeks ago because Diana Perrazzo just came in then. No, so it was. Uh, I think Tony Storm. Sor- they gave Soraya the belt and it didn't do a fucking thing. The shame I, I, I think since Jay left, it's been better. I do think it was a shame that Sarah didn't I don't have agree with run. that. I, I like Jade on Rampage when like she made Rampage relevant. Yeah. I'm I'm not saying I don't like I'm not saying I don't do not like Jade. I'm saying she needed learning to do. He's a star, man. That's all I'm saying. I like Statlander. I love Statlander. Yeah. Do you think Statlander could carry the division? Hey, 
If, if you book, book, if you book some shit, right? They're building women. Julia Hart, Sky Blue. They're building women. Uh, Alexa Bliss. <laughs> I thought about throwing her on my Mania card too. Oh, uh, she's gonna win the Royal Rumble. I, that's I, honestly, I kind of think that. I think uh, Alexa Bliss may come back. She may not win it, but she may be a Final Four person. You think Liv Liv can make? Uh, is she well, well enough at this point to come back for the Rumble and make some noise? Rumor has it that yeah. didn't even phase her uh, rating. Yeah, I, yeah right. But she was hurt. Uh, I didn't know how healthy she was. That's all. Well, and the uh, the arrest thing, rumor has it, didn't even phase her standing in the company. Yeah, some so of they don't care about marijuana. Maybe, maybe she will come back <laughs> in the Rumble. Bruh. Do you think if uh, if Alexa Bliss was to return, would she have to come back with the Lily doll? Not necessarily. She could play the yeah. bitch. She was good at being a bitch. How about Bo Dallas? Yeah. Can he come back on the other side? Yeah. Of Alexa Bliss. I don't give a fuck how she comes back. As long as she comes back. I'm what if happy. Bo Dallas came back as Bo Wyatt? I think it's uh, an idea. Um, Bo, we're talking about Bo, Bo Dallas and Bo, Bo Wyatt. Lee. Well, Bo Dallas Lee. is Bray Wyatt's brother, and it would be something to come back as Bo Wyatt. Bo he Wyatt was the man that played cool. Uncle Howdy, but you can't really continue. Uh, you could continue Uncle Howdy, but like the story would not be the same without Bray Wyatt there. Yeah. I, I think he's still signed, right? I, Bo Wyatt. Well, that's a good idea. And you, he could play a character. Yeah, for sure. And he could have went through some traumatic stuff with losing his brother. That could wow. play out on TV. Here. And Bray would love that, honestly. <laughs> Bray yeah, would love that. Would. And that would elevate Bo. You know, like, that it gives would. him instant credibility when he hits Look, the They've camera. done stuff like this with Eddie Guerrero. They've done stuff like this. And I think Bray would be great, on board. Great storyline. Great, like, everything. It's how Bo would do it. I believe. I believe 100%. I believe. He was the man. No, he was the is- man. I, yeah, but what I'm saying is it depends on how Bo, Bo Dallas, Bo White, Bo whatever the fuck he is. Bro, Bo Rotunda. Yeah, Bo Rotunda. It's actually not even Bo, it's Taylor. <laughs> like, it, it depends on how he comes out. It depends on how he... I do like Bo Rotunda, though. That'd be a sick They might name. do that. It, it makes sense, too. It, Rotunda, Wyatt, they both make sense. Yeah, Bo Rotunda yeah, would be no, cool. No, 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 no. I, I, think, I think it could be a good storyline... If he could pull it off. Fair. <laughs> I think Fair. so. Too. Shout out Bo Dallas and Curtis Axel. The only reason I was ever on BT, WWE BT. TV. Yeah. I'm on the BT side. Just as good as FTR. No, if, he, if he could pull it off, yes, it would be great. Can he pull it off? Can WWE let him pull it off? I did want to make a joke to Amy. I was like, oh, did you get that action figure when they were shaving each other's backs? <laughs> because that was a horrible storyline. It was. Yeah. Oh, they not- were involved in the greatest live show, live match I've ever I seen. I do not believe she was as big of a fan back then, of course. I, I stand by that. Calling, really? it, calling it out. <laughs> uh, anyway, back to you, James. Let's uh, put a bow on this bad boy, huh? Well, I, <laughs> I, I think... Uh... I forgot we were doing that. Yeah, right? <laughs> Speaking of what are we doing, what are we doing next week? So as you guys, uh, you may not know, there's some traveling going on next week. James is traveling. We're not sure about Mike and Adam's traveling, but we're still going to put a show together and we're hoping that as many people can be here as possible. And we are going to have the returning Mr. Thomas from MLW for an interview. He's promoting his uh, next show. That's going to be February 3rd in Philadelphia, uh, MLW Super Fight. Uh, I will be there, of course. I mentioned that last week and he wanted to talk about it before it, um, before it happened. So that's that's it. Mr. Thomas is legit. One of uh legit. one of the funnest guests we've had on this show. And I gotta I'm gonna do what I can to be on that one because that motherfucker is hilarious. Yes. Mr. Thompson is great. We wanna promote everything he can. And then if on that, I think we have something special for all of you guys coming up. Well Mike or Mike, uh did you let the other guys know yet? Nope, because <laughs> I have no fucking clue what he's talking about. Perfect. Anyway, that's what next week is. So back to you, James. Make <laughs> us home, baby. Well, uh, you know, appreciate it. Uh, Just give us a-, a gimmick to get out of here. Okay. The tape machines are definitely rolling on this one. Uh, 
want to thank everybody for joining us. Uh, obviously, uh, be a friend and tell a friend if you like what we're doing. Always spread the word because, uh, you know, like all of y'all know, the minute you start watching us, hey, we got some good stuff and you're going to, you know, binge a lot of it and all that. We appreciate the uh, feedback on uh, social media. You know, uh, got to love that. And, uh, you know, we uh, we covered the Royal Rumble uh, 94 today and it's Royal Rumble season. And uh, it kind of makes me uh, wonder, like, you know, there are going to be opportunities to rise because the Royal Rumble is, hey, who knows who's going to get that title shot? There could be a no-name person that all of a sudden eliminates, you know, some people and wins the Rumble and that changes their life. You know, they are presented with an opportunity to become champion. Like, look at Mike right now. He's uh, He's got an opportunity to become a manager. Like, sometimes those opportunities just arise. And that's what I like about the Rumble. Anybody can change their whole outlook, their whole life, their whole career by just winning the Rumble, get that automatic title shot. But you know how you get that title shot? You know how you win the Rumble? Well, you got to kick out it too. Because life is going to hit you in the face. But here's the thing. When it, when life pins you down, you throw that shoulder, baby, and kick out it too. Because opportunities like the Rumble don't happen unless you kick out it too. So, uh, you know, always uh, strive to move forward and uh, always try to do your best and apply yourself. And, hey, maybe you'll get that title shot, you know? Maybe you'll uh, rise above the crowd of 30 and maybe you'll be the one, you know, on top but that doesn't happen unless you find the strength within yourself to kick out it too because that's what we do and that's what you do on your show the kick out crew uh so thank everybody for joining us and hey guess what we'll see you next week good suck it run